Nerd Confessions. Welcome to Nerd Confessions. It's been a week since our last confession. Just a reminder to our listeners, you can find our previous episodes and bonus content on our website, nerdconfessions.net. I'm Tommy, your host for this episode, and I'm joined by Sohil, Ryan, Jeff, Encore, Tyler, and Will. Hey, Tommy. So, everybody, let's start off with uh, what you guys did this week. Uh, Will, let's uh, start off with you. I'll play Gone Home, Witcher 3, Blood and Wine. I actually started playing The Division again on PS4 this time. Edge of Nowhere for Oculus Rift, I started playing in 2, and it's pretty good. Oh, I know that one. Tell me um, more. I don't like how linear it is. Um, I, I can understand why they did it. They did it so you don't have the motion sickness of looking around a lot. You're just pretty much going straight forward path. And if you have to backtrack, you have to look behind you. Mm. But so far, it's kind of like Tomb Raider, Tomb Raider a little bit. Is it scary? Uh, the more I'm getting into it, the more spooky it gets, yeah. Ooh. But it's not like really frightening or anything. Mm. And then I also watched Three Headed Shark Attack. Ooh, Yeah. Oh, so we can talk. Was that? it terrible? It was the worst movie I've ever seen. Oh, the, the bold Wor- worse, worse than um, what's that movie called? Could be worse than Hard Sharknado. Sharknado? Sharknado? No, the Piranha one. Oh, oh. I, I, I really liked that one because it was terrible bad. G.I. Joe. Yeah. Yeah. Was it as bad as Hardcore Henry? <laughs> Hardcore Henry was the best movie I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, was it really the best movie you ever seen in your life? One of them. One of my favorite ones. Wow. It makes me kind of want to see it now. Yeah, me too. I totally That's a really flame. bold statement. Oh, oh, Carl fell asleep in it. He fell asleep? Yeah. Oh my he God. falls asleep in everything. Big surprise. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Tyler, what did you do this week? Um, I played uh, Gone Home, uh, Witcher 3. I just bought that. Uh, I'm trying to get the Platinum on Final Fantasy VII. Ooh. The only game I'll ever try to get the Platinum on. And then I uh, played Star Wars Battlefront, FIFA 16, Pokemon Blue, and um, uh, Bravely Default. Still playing those last two. It's a lot of games. I know. Busy well, I only man. play a little bit of each, oh, especially okay. like FIFA and Battlefront. It's the sampler video. What game. are you playing Battlefront? What, what mode? Uh, I mainly play uh, Walker Assault. Oh, that's the most fun. That's, that's my favorite too. Yeah. Ooh. You don't play heroes and villains? No, I don't like it. It's kind of lame. You got your I boy. Think, I think Walker Assault's <laughs> the, my favorite. You got mode. your boy in there. Who? Oh, Bo- Boba, Boba Fett. Fett. Oh yeah. Boba Fett. But, but then, but then you play as the Emperor and yeah. it sucks. I, the Emperor is the worst character. No, they, they put two new characters, oh, yeah, didn't they? They put Greedo and uh, Le- Leia. Leia. Yeah, but Leia. they're not. They're not heroes. Leia and, and well, the Leia Emperor. They're not heroes. Is it? And Greedo's the villain. Yeah. Oh, Princess Leia is my favorite one to play as. Princess Leia is like the most cheap. Vader's fun. You know why she's cheap? She could drop health packs constantly. Yeah. And then people pick it up and just not constantly. You have cooldown. Oh, sorry. Is it a oh. short cooldown? It, it, it feels like, like it's constantly because it happens so frequently. And how much health does it give? A lot? It's full health for every character. Oh, my gosh. That's wow. <laughs> that's, that's a lot. What was the one we played? It was... Uh, Walker Salt. Walker Salt. That yeah. shit was fun. Yeah, that one's the best one. The best yeah. mode, I think. That's the now, Walker cool. Salt's the most fun. Blast is cool because it's really quick. Yeah. It's an easy way to get points. Walker Salt is cool because it feels like... Uh, if people play the objectives, the game goes quick. But mm-hmm. if you're playing like just to kill people... It feels like you're really in a story. Every multiplayer game ever, people just go out for kills and do whatever they want. I just wish they didn't have pickups for like getting ships, and that it just actually had a different system for that. Because it feels like a race to whoever wants to get something fun. Exactly what it is. Somebody will, someone will like jetpack past you and get on the ship, and then go down. So annoying. And you're like, I just (laughs) wanted to play that once. Just once. It's like you never get it unless you're or it's lucky. Have, you, have you ever had it where you pick it up and you you kneel down, then somebody kills you, and then you miss out on it? Yeah. Um, yep. Makes oh. me so mad. Ooh, Tyler Rage. <laughs> <laughs> do you ever hear him yelling at worst. his PlayStation? Sometimes. I, I do yell sometimes. <laughs> and Tyler, it's only that game. Tyler hears me punch the wall. Oh, all the time. Oh my God. <laughs> Why are you punching he, he the pun- wall? He punches the wall. His wall shares the shower. So sometimes when he punches it, shit will fall in the shower. That's a hell of a punch. Well, I guess the wall must be really thin. It's actually pretty far from the bathroom. Oh, really? But I punch it, he's punching it really, really hard. <laughs> he did throw like a something at a door and busted the door frame. So <laughs> what are you talking about? You threw like a pillowcase at so. <laughs> well, that's when you guys hit that big hand in my pillowcase. Oh yeah, it was so a, I chased, a mannequin hand. I chased after Brian to hit him with my pillow, not knowing it was in there. <laughs> <and> I missed. <laughs> and it like completely demolished the door frame. Broke Holy it. Holy shit! Oh, is that why it's cracked? Yeah, that would have killed. Oh. That 
would have killed Brian. I was wondering what that was from. Because <laughs> I hit him really hard, <laughs> but I didn't know the hand was in there. Oh, my the, God. There's a crack, like, probably a foot long. <laughs> the, the paint's chipped off of it and everything. <laughs> it damaged the if wall. That would have hit Brian. Oh, my God. <laughs> you think Brian would have been special if you hit him with it? Maybe it would have been normal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, okay. Well, on that note, uh, Encore, what would you do this week? Um, I played Gone Home. Watched Warcraft with all you guys, some of you. Nice. Watched The Conjuring 2. And watched uh, 30 for 30, Believeland. How was Conjuring? Believeland? Believeland. Believeland. Is it about Cleveland. LeBron? It's about Cleveland in general. How was Conjuring? Um, I don't like it. Did you like the first one? The first one was great. Some yeah. people said they're pleasantly surprised. Uh, this one, uh, just, just a lot of cliche Uh-oh. dialogue. And cliche. But did it make money? It made forty. It made less than the first, though. Uh, How was it on Rotten Tomatoes? Like it. Good reviews. I think like sixty or something. Not wow. gonna like it. I thought the first one was a perfect. First one was movie. great. Like I, I hate horror film. I don't watch horror. I think it's a waste of money. I you know I'll, I'll watch it at home. I, I wouldn't even watch it. I don't like horror, but Conjuring was great. In the first one, yeah, I, no, I wasn't scared. I might like <laughs> jerked a little bit. <laughs> the first one, the there? first one was just a Ooh. good movie. The first one was a great movie. It had great it writing good. and characters, and everything was just well done. The I second one was alright. The second one, uh, I don't know. I don't recommend it. Wait for it. I'm gonna see it no matter what. Insidious was better. No, get out oh, of yeah. here. Yeah, Insidious was way better. No. I'm probably not gonna see it because Insidious was. I liked Insidious a lot. Yeah, it was great. Insidious Even was not good. better. Better than Conjuring. No. Yeah. Oh, no way. way. No. I guess, I guess okay, that's a no. Yeah. I, guess, I guess you're Sorry, wrong. Ryan. <laughs> this is corny. I didn't mean to upset you. This was good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it, was, it was campy. It was like a, a, it was like a modern but Twilight Zone. Conjuring was like a well-written, well-acted movie, though. Yeah. It lets you say it. I liked to see this because it was very different, and it was b- b- very much like a modern uh, Twilight Zone. It's it, all about the Baba Duke money? guys. Bob, that Bob. movie was terrible. I know. Dude, that, that movie, movie was I, terrible. I really, Yes. I really don't like horror <laughs> movies. Either. I liked it. You didn't like it, Baba Duke? No, yeah. I didn't oh like it no, at all. Baba Duke. They was make terrible. best friends with him at the end and feed him. Oh god, I was best so friends, yeah. <laughs> I started watching that movie at like twelve thirty at night, and I stayed up just because it was so bad, and I was just so mad because it was so You're bad. mad. Yeah, because everyone was hyping it up as being like a yeah, great horror exactly. movie. And then I was like, "What the hell?" Is I didn't. This? I heard. I didn't hear any of the hype going into it. Maybe that's there why. was so much hype on it. That's that's the only reason I, got, I saw it. I got it. so excited. When I was like, "Oh, it's going on Netflix. I'm excited. We're gonna watch it right away." I, I meant it was very dumb, but it's a stupid dumb horror movie. That's, what do you expect? I expected better. Me too. <laughs> well, Jeff, what'd you do this week? Uh, I didn't really play a lot of games this week. I played uh, a little bit of Tomb Raider still. I still haven't beaten that. Played um, Gone Home. I uh, played some more of Nuclear Throne, and uh, I watched two episodes of po- Powers. Excuse me, there. Powers. Powers. PlayStation Show. I don't know if anybody else has seen it besides Encore. Anyone? No. no. I, I, want, I wanted Anyone? to watch it. Is it yeah, free? free? The guy from uh, District 9. And if you have PlayStation Elysium's Plus, right? Yep. I think all of us have that, though. It was kind of cool. The first episode really got me because it, well, it's not really a spoiler because it's the first episode, but this guy, they're, they're arresting some guy who has powers and he ends up like going off in the police station, like killing a dude. He threw him into a wall and like the corner of the wall hit the guy's head and just killed him right there in the middle of the police station. I was like, woo! So that's what kind of drew me in. It's PSN's first uh, show, right? I think so. Is it live action yeah. or is it animated? It's live action. It's live action. The same guy from District 9, isn't it? And Elysium. I wonder if they'll make Is he the main character? Yeah. That's him? Yep. Yeah. Wow. I wonder if they make Ratchet and Clank a free oh, movie on Fucking bronze. <laughs> He's a cool character in that show. Have you seen his wife? Mm-mm. Damn. Like, damn. Unk, we're so jealous of his funny. wife. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ryan, what'd you do this week? Oh, I did a lot this week. No, oh, good. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Here's the list. Every, week. Every damn week. Uh, I've been playing more Witcher 3 Blood and Wine. I got to a point today where it said, gave me a message saying, if I go forward, I can't do any more side missions. So I think I'm towards the end of that. But I love it so much that so I'm just going to go around and do some extra stuff before I go through with that. Uh, I started playing Hitman Go on my Vita. That game is really cool. It's a little puzzle spin on the Hitman formula. I'm liking it a lot. Playing some more Nuclear Throne. I'm going to try to beat it sometime. <laughs> a little bit more Overwatch. Saw Warcraft. Saw Ninja Turtles 2. And I watched Sicario. And Ooh. then I, uh, I completed Grim Fandango Remastered Edition. And I'm proud to announce I got the Platinum. Putting me Ooh, one puts, ahead of Will. That puts him ahead of me. I'm going to get the Platinum for Division. Oh, yeah, are you? Yeah. Uh, okay. So you're like one of the only people who still plays it after the 90% drop off. I'm not, not playing it alone. Ooh. You and the two people. 
So, yeah. what did you do this week? All right, so I played Gone Home a little bit. I didn't play the whole thing. And I played NBA 2K16, did the head scan, came out looking like a, looking like a cancer patient, as I said. Uh, played Overwatch, Mad Max. I think I'm really close to the end of Mad Max. Ooh, uh, where you at? Three-headed... Oh, uh, where am I at? Yeah. Um, just got into Gas Town. Oh, Gas Town. So, no, you're not even close. Not even close. It's going to get so good. <laughs> so good. <laughs> three-headed shark attack. I watched that, and I watched Zootopia. So. Ooh, Zootopia's good. Was that the first so, time you've seen Zootopia? Yeah, first time I watched mm. it. Did you like it? it? Yeah, I thought it was good. I thought it was good. I don't think it was like... 99%? 99% on Rotten Tomatoes good, but it was good. Did you like that carrot pen? Yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. Kind of like made it something new for the new kids to want to download and buy or get. You know, like the one from Home Alone? Remember that Home Alone walk and talkie recorder thing that we had? Yeah. Maybe the same thing for kids nowadays, like those carrot pens or some kind of pen that has a recorder in it. They have it at Disney. Apparently it sold out a lot. Really? This is a recording system? That's actually pretty cool. Um, other than that, I didn't play anything else. I think I made 2K16 story is terrible. Ooh. But we'll see if that's that That's a free PlayStation game for this month? Yeah, it's a free PlayStation game. I just don't like the spikely crap that's going on. Spikely joint! Get that's up. what it says. And it says, <laughs> it says every time you do something, it's like Spike Lee's head is on all the, um, all, on all the achievements. It's all the trophies? And all the trophies. It says, so like, act one, you, act four. You're, you're playing the story, and you shared that that video that has a very terrible voice acting is it all like that or is that it's just only like the worst example it's the worst example it's whenever you play against certain players <sighs> some players be better than others yeah some players are better if you go to coaches coaches are good if you go to like like owners are good but when you go to certain like Dion waiters oh my god it's like he didn't go to college and he and he didn't go to school he just like but you got you know you got to get st- you got to finish the worlds. You know, like what is happening with this voice acting? Yeah, it sounds like he's reading and yeah. he can't read. That's how most NBA stars even talk normally, though. It's realistic. That's true. But it's the, 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 let me let me say one thing. Whenever one they thing. get interviewed <laughs> about the storyline, about the storyline, what it's trying to do is Spike Lee's trying to bump up African African Americans in basketball. Anywhere. It's like okay, you need to stay in college. Don't leave school. Go play basketball. Don't play basketball. Stay in school. And it's like, what the hell is this trying to tell me? I'm going to choose $100 million over school any day. Yeah. It's true. So why wouldn't you? And then the same thing happens when the agent tells you that. Have you guys right. ever heard uh, Kareem Abdul talk on a speech? No, not really. I mean, I've heard him He's once or twice. He's a really, really smart guy, dude. That, that, like, people need to look up to that guy. Maybe there, are speech there are intelligent do. athletes out there. I mean, I'm talking about basketball. There are intelligent basketball players. Yeah, but generally the older nowadays, they get, the more intelligent they get. You know, as they come out of high school and they play, they just they didn't. You know, did, someone barely graduated high school. Did you hear what happened to, to Shaquille O'Neal? Just going into that realm, Shaquille O'Neal when he first signed on, I think he went in when he first got his first check. He went and bought himself a Mercedes Benz, and then when he bought that Benz, he came home with it, and then I guess it was like two hundred, three hundred thousand dollar car. Or something like that. Oh my God. Then he got Jeez. home. Then he got home with it, and his dad's like, "Where's mine?" <laughs> so he got back in the car, drove his dad to the dealership, bought his dad one. There you go. And then he, it was like another three hundred thousand. He spent a million dollars in one day. He went and bought somebody else a car and this and that. So he spent. A yeah, but he dollars. bought his dad a car. I mean. Yeah, I know he did, but I'm just saying he I'm spent a million dollars in one day. That's when he first signed on. So he's like, what "I blew my check? first check." How did you, How did he spend the other half a million? He spent the rest on like a house or something for his mom or something like that. So okay. he also put fish in his speakers. What? And they what? died. <laughs> like he put a, he put about? a fish he put <laughs> a fish. This is slander now. No, 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 no. I had allegedly. I, I, he, he, no, he did it. No, he did. He he does an interview about it. He puts a uh, he put a fish tank in the front of a speaker, and he like blew the speakers while he was driving. And then when he got to the destination, he'd have to buy more goldfish to put it in there because they'd always die. What the hell? Yeah. <laughs> it was pretty weird, but he did. It's a very that. interesting uh, baller. Why does he want gold fish sounds like, the speakers so bad? What does it sound like? Keith Moon Crazy. did that. He oh. put fish in his, his floor tom, and they ended up dying because yeah. he was hitting the... Yeah, because the, the sound drum. just like yeah. destroys him. But yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, but that and happened. And then he died. And then he died, yes. Uh, didn't uh, didn't what's his name lose? Uh, Mike Tyson lost like millions of dollars in one day. He like just blew it all. In well, he went bankrupt like 10 years ago or something. Yeah. Lost a lot. He was in Las Vegas when I was Cocaine there. and hookers. Well, they, 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 they hammered it up. They, just, they all just, you know, spend on things they always wanted oh, as kids. And, and we also watched Warcraft. I also watched Warcraft this week. Sorry. All right. Yes. Nerd so Confessions good. saw Warcraft today with the exclusion of Jeff and Tyler. That's true. 
But uh, I think everyone had a pretty good time. Meh. And Encore, <laughs> I guess Encore's next, right? No, Encore went. Uh, I'm the last one, apparently. Uh, so this week I finished the Peaky Blinders season this three is. that was on Netflix. Peaky, peaky. Uh, left with a pretty interesting cliffhanger. I saw Warcraft with uh, everybody else. The boys. The boys. Uh, I'm caught up on Dragon Ball Z Super. Uh, saw the latest Game of Thrones episode, which is keeping everyone kind of on on their toes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll see. And then I I started watching an anime called A Certain Magical Index to see what it's all about. So far, it's pretty interesting, but how we'll is, see how it goes. How is Dragon Ball Z Super? It's actually pretty good. It's, I heard the uh, animation's bad. It's not that bad, actually. It's it the story picks is the same guy who started the original Dragon Ball Z. Uh-huh. So he came back to write it, and it's like in a whole different realm because you know it hit a point where you're like, all right, so they're like, what Super Saiyan four now? Like, like well, how yeah, far is like Super go? Saiyan gods now? Yeah, yeah. So they they pretty much are eliminating GT as if it never existed. Well, well, it was, it, it was it completely wasn't, different. It wasn't done by it was, him. It was just yeah. so nuts. It was so yeah. different, different people. So now it's like it kind of feels a continuation of where it would have left off. And it's interesting. Like, there's a whole different like universe to explore. Different fighters. Did you see the movies? The two movies. I, I did see the movies. How does this compare to those? Does it not match up at all? Or they actually the first the first couple. I say the first twenty some episodes actually includes the movies. There's an, a couple things are different of it, but it's the same story. Just to catch up to the series. Is the animation as good or bad? I think or? it's good. It's not bad at all. It's okay. like the same. I mean, so unless you said I get really picky is this about the movie it. Stretched out. Pretty much. Yeah, it was stretch of a couple episodes, but it goes by pretty fast, and then you get into the actual real meat of what's what's to come. I mean, it's a nice you know anime to watch. <laughs> How many episodes is it? Uh, so far um, we're on forty four already. Yeah, we're on forty four already, and there's like it? a lot more to go. Is it dubbed? Um, I watch it everywhere. Is it on it's Crunchyroll online. or? Uh, maybe I have to look into it. Or where are you watching on YouTube? I want to watch, watch it. What do you know? I watch it online. Because I've really oh, been okay. wanting to watch it. <laughs> well, I'll send you a link. Is it dubbed Thank yet? You. I'll send you a well, link. Yeah, is it it's, dubbed or is it? It's dubbed, unfortunately. Oh, okay. It's not... Oh, you uh, prefer... No, I'm sorry. It's sub, oh. not dubbed. Oh, okay. Sorry. Forget I wish it was dubbed, but it takes time for them to catch yeah, up Yeah, it takes to that. years. Yeah. But That's how it was for Dragon Ball You get Z. used to it, Yeah, they're though. terrible at doing yeah. that. I think yeah. they didn't finish Dragon Ball Z, I think, until 2001. Yeah. All the dubbing. 1999. Ever. Oh, was it 99? Yeah. okay. Not to mention that they switch the dubs. They had originally was one company, and then it, then they bought another company. And the voices all changed in the I middle of Dragon only, Ball Z. Oh, it did. Yeah, it was completely different. Yeah, uh, they dubbed a lot actors. of the. A so lot they had to the redub episodes. everything. Oh, okay. That the whole it's over nine thousand part. Yeah, it was terrible yeah. when they redid it. it didn't sound <laughs> yeah. anything like the. I don't know. The, what, oh, are you talking original? about when they did the the Dragon Ball Z Kai? Yeah, they they redid oh, yeah, all they the, the, the way Kai before. Oh, wait, really? Because I have the I have the original DVD set. But I didn't that, think that was after, yeah. So Dragon Ball Kai would have the new voices, yeah. But okay. like as soon as they did that, remember over nine thousand. Yeah, like the not, original that was like on Toonami. That's when Toonami. Yeah, that was good. That was that good was stuff. that's when they had the original guy who was like screaming and everyone. <clears throat> I watched. It I gotta look at what his name Toonami. is, but yeah, it was good stuff. <laughs> so let's fun. go on to news for this week. Yeah, what you got, baby boy? All right, first thing on the news: the Watch Dogs Ooh. trailer. What do we think of that? So good. So I love good. The setting. the setting is great. Looks cool. I never played Watch Dogs, but I saw this trailer. I thought, damn, this looks like a good game. I think the Something setting looks amazing. I think it looks great. I really don't like Frisco, but I think it looks amazing. I wish it was somewhere else, but I'm really excited to play this game. Really excited. When is it released? How excited? I think it comes really out November. Excited. Well, watching it, I was like, there's a whole lot of no trench coats blowing in the wind right now. Where are all the trench coats blowing in the wind? Oh my That's God. the main thing I missed. I mean, we, we have cute, we have we have pool balls hanging on strings that you can use in wep- as weapons, but no trench coats. Come on, it could have been a fashion windy changes. Day. Will fashion changes? This is the coolest part though, seeing him walk with the trench no, coat. It no. could be in there somewhere. They just didn't show it. Trench trailer. coats aren't maybe allowed it'll be in San Francisco. A, maybe it'll be a purchasable. I think it's cool. The it's gonna be cold and the parkour Francisco. to it. I think that's gonna be fun. It's Sneaking be around. A, the parkour did look really cool. Oh. <laughs> you break your phone. <laughs> Brand I new. did not. Is there wall running? <laughs> Can I do wall running? Brand new. Well, I, I have insurance, though. Is there wall running? Uh, I didn't see wall running. I didn't see any either. Like Lucio style wall running or Titanfall wall, wall running? I haven't played Titanfall. Oh. It's yet. supposed to. It's supposed to take place in more than than just the San Francisco city, and it goes to Silicon Valley mm-hmm. and stuff like that. Well, so it's a perfect setting, as it you know, it's all like tech savvy up there. 
Well, the music well, that's too. Well, it's supposed to go to Silicon Valley. I mean, if you saw that cinematic trailer, they showed mm-hmm. a server room. Mm-hmm. So I'm sure maybe you'd go to like some place that wouldn't be a big server for. What was it called CTIOS? CCTOS. CCTOS. I hope you get a big warehouse again mm-hmm. with the giant monitors. Do you, do you think uh, Marcus can fill the shoes of Aiden? No, uh, can fill the I, shoes don't know. Of Aiden. I don't know. I don't know because Aiden Aiden had a good backstory. He was he was he was a likable guy. He was just he was just a normal dude. A lot of people didn't well, like him. I know, a lot of people hated it. I liked him. I liked him too. But a lot of people said he has no personality. I, I could see that, but it just it, it made him more more normal. But Marcus is is just this high flying. He's probably going to be mouthy too, but he's I mean he's totally different. He's completely different than Aiden. And he's not wearing trench coat. Is Aiden going to be a villain this time? Mm, Might be. Might be a villain. No way. Mm-hmm. He was a good you never guy. Know. He already lost everything. He wasn't a villain. Exactly. Now so. he's got nothing to lose. It'd be cool if he made an Easter egg, though. Like, what he cameo should be in it. Or yeah, a downloadable content you can get as a costume. <laughs> With a I still, I still haven't played film. the T-Dog DLC for Watch Dogs. I never played you? it. No. I got it and just never played it. Yeah, I'm excited I, about I stopped it. playing it. I don't think I finished it. So do we think we should uh, pre-order Watch Dogs 2? No, don't pre-order see, anything. See, see, this is the thing. I don't want to pre-order it because they promised us so much last time. Well, I mean, solo. if you look at the trailer they had of actual gameplay for this one, it looks worse than the trailer for gameplay that they had um, at the first E3 in 2000... What was it? 12? 11? Just, just or don't pre there's no reason to pre-order. I'm just saying they're. I think they're pulling their punches hmm. this time, not making it look a lot yeah, better than it will actually be. Because they got hit real hard when they lied to yeah. people. They didn't get hit hard. The game sold tons of copies. No, they sold copies, but I meant well, like when they with lied. Feedback, got a lot of negative feedback yeah. with Division, Watch Dogs. I think I read something on online that like you know people are hesitant on pre-ordering this As game they should even be. They, because of their experience with the last one. I so. think people are getting more hesitant just pre-ordering in general yeah. now. There's no need. Unless you get something. It's yeah, pre- pre-order yeah, bonuses. Coin. Yeah, unless you get something really cool, I don't really <laughs> don't see a reason to pre-order. But I, I don't I see. Wait. I don't like those bonuses anyway. They're so like trash. You throw them. In well, the it depends. Trash. It depends on what you're talking about. Remember, Con- a, Quantum Break. You got the game Alan Wake games, and you got the game for PC. Yeah, what which if I, you get, I got. What if you I get a ten dollar bonus with pre-order, so you for what though? I don't like, know. Best Buy gives you ten bucks all the time. So, yeah, well, if you get ten dollars and you spent fifty dollars and you the game sucks, you net loss is forty bucks. Ten dollars on top of your already ten dollar off discount. Or yeah. 40% off discount. So it's for 50 bucks, and you get $10 back. If the game sucks, trade it in for 40 bucks, you break even. That's not bad. Well, you have to break even, yeah. I'm just saying, if you did keep Well, I mean, even if you bought it normal, right? And you spent 50, didn't get the 10, but, or returned it, you still break even anyway. They don't give you the 10 if you don't pre order. If the game if the game sucks, but and the cat, it drops in so much in value, like Mirror's Edge just did, would you be able to break even? No. See? So I, I don't problem. think it's not going to be. It's not going to be as bad as Mirror's Edge. Mirror's Edge Nobody though. expected Mirror's Edge to sell. Everybody wanted it, but it's like, why did you do it? It's not going to sell. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just throwing it out there. That's something that can happen. I just don't think we should pre-order games. Nope. In general, nope. personally, don't do it. All right, no pre-ordering then. All right. In the uh, other news, Project Red applies for new games trademark for Gwent. Uh, do you think card games are exciting? No. What, so Gwent is that game you guys had in Witcher Three that well, a lot of people liked a lot. But it's a card game in the it's, actual it's game. Kinda, Witcher it's kind of similar to yeah, it's a card game in the game. It's kind of similar to Hearthstone, which but, is huge right now. By yeah, way. but Gwent itself, they'd have to upgrade it a lot. It's so simple. I mean, once you build a super deck, you can beat everybody in the game. Yeah, there's not yeah. much strategy to it. Yeah, that's no, crazy. It's, no, the game the game is like three lines, and you're playing and. Uh, I think it, I think if they if they pl- applied for a trademark, I think card games right now are really hot with like digital app games. I mean, the base they have is okay. They'd have to mod it, like modify it a lot. Though. Yeah, that's a good phone game. It's always a phone game. Yeah. You think people would flock to it though just because it's like a Witcher th- from Witcher Three? It's, you know, the I mean, fan, it could do well. I don't know. Base. I know a lot of people that actually liked it a lot. So Tyler, I, mean, you, I didn't really care for it. I don't. I either. think. I think it's. <laughs> It's more like a... I really liked it. I mean, getting into it and learning it was fun, but then eventually you're past the learning curve and you can't go up anymore. Everything You just beat everybody. I remember reading when it first came, Witcher 3 first came out. Remember that thing where it says uh, from Dave Chappelle and it says anybody got more of that crack and it's like Dave Chappelle scratching his neck? <laughs> yeah. Well, they had videos and said anybody get many more of those Gwent cards and they're scratching their neck because they really <laughs> wanted Gwent cards. 
because they were like really into Gwent more than the game. It was really weird. Can you trade in the game the cards? You can win them. You can you can win them, and there's like certain missions you can get Gwent cards from. Like you can say, do you want the money or do you want the Gwent cards? <laughs> I always go with the Gwent cards. Does it affect story at all? <laughs> There's, there's side quests. Um, there's side quests about it. Gwent. You can enter yeah. like Gwent tournaments yeah. and stuff like that. The Gwent tournament in uh, the base game was really fun. I haven't tried it in the new game. I didn't game bother yet. playing. It's I, cool. just, I kept wanting to play the game. Jeff's going to get really addicted to Gwent when he plays Oh, no. Right? Oh, yeah, you will. It's, it's, <laughs> I will say that in Adventure Time, there's a, uh, there's a card game they play, and I downloaded the app, and I was playing that for a while. So I'm not going to addicted to Gwent. Like, try, try a Hearthstone if you like that, you're going to like Gwent. I mean, I just know that Hearthstone's really... I don't know how they got this so well, though. They, I mean, I played Witcher 1, and it was a dice game, and it sucked. And then I didn't get into it. Did you play a dice game? Uh, for Witcher 1? Yeah. I don't think so. I thought Witcher 1 was a very good... It's not very good. Well, it was mainly PC. I played it on PC. It wasn't very good. <laughs> well, Witcher 2. What did you think of the game that had that one? Witcher 2... It was okay. He's got to ride through the <laughs> so many games. I don't think you remember. No feedback other than that. You don't even remember? I, remember I don't think you remember the game. I got to a quest in Witcher 2 where I had to like research how to fight a monster. Well, I don't mean like the game itself. Oh, I, don't, I don't remember side, any side You don't remember the side game at all? I don't remember all? any side game. <laughs> I didn't get that far because I couldn't find a fucking book to learn how to fight a monster. So I could never fight the monster and progress. Ooh. Sounds like you're stuck at like level one or something. It was pretty early. Couldn't, you couldn't <laughs> read. A book about how to fight something. So you couldn't, couldn't find, find the book. It. I couldn't find the book. You had to find a specific book somewhere. Where was the book? Right? But I think, I think Where was the book? I think it's so funny that you had to read how to fight this monster so you could go fight this monster. But that's funny. You do. You have to do research and Just figure out what potions you have to brew. No, you have what to do oils it. You need to use. You have to do it in the game universe, or else you, your character couldn't do anything. Yeah, I know. Oh, it was part of the quest. Yeah. It was part of the quest line. Quest. Line. It was like I really couldn't funny. do it myself. Like your character didn't learn how to fight the monster until you read the book. They really dumbed that down for Witcher 3, and I think it's for the better. <laughs> Do you think that Gwent's ready to be on its own, though? No, if it's as, a, if as it's it is phone, right now. Because uh, you got to think about it. In the game, you're playing against AI that's not that smart. But when you're playing in the public and everyone knows the rules, it'll be much more interesting. Yeah, it's true. Like Hearthstone, people are watched on YouTube. Dude, like nuts crazy. On Hearthstone. They'll at least have to limit the amount of spies you can put in a deck, though. Oh, probably. They'll probably change the rules a bit, and there'll be a lot more cards. <laughs> yep. As an iOS or Android app, I think it'll be great. I think it will be an iOS app. It has sure. to be. It's not yeah. going to be a... PlayStation. Or Android, yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, Destiny Boom. Rides of Iron expansion releases on September 20th. Goody. I'm pretty sure Sloane is like, super excited about this. <laughs> no, he's mad. Why yeah, is he he mad? actually had a little bit of resentment. He, yeah. realized, he realized that they're nickel and diming him. Bungie just wants to make money. <laughs> they're a company. Well, the <laughs> amount, amount of time he spends on it. <laughs> I guess, yeah. They also dropped support for PS3 and Xbox 360, so if you guys are playing on that... It could be a good thing, because that's part of why the maps were so small on the original game. Um, w- dropping the support for it will have a bigger map, and they'll be able to put more into the play area. I think I agree that it, it would be a good idea to drop those yeah. Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 people. At what point are they going to stop making games for Xbox 360 and PS3? I think they're probably once his new consoles drop. Probably this yeah. year. Good. Yeah, Good riddance. I think, I think that backwards compatibility really was the hindrance in the game getting. I mean, for me, I didn't like that. I can only play with six people. If you could play I don't with think eight. that had anything to do with it. Yeah, it did. No, the, the six per people limit. It's more of like I'm a sure. I'm sure strategy. it played a role in it because Sohil was really so. pissed off about and not the being dark, able to play with and the all dark. his friends because the raids themselves are designed for six people specifically. I think what Sohil. I think what Sohil means is max three players. Yeah, if you if you had it, if he, wanted, he wanted to play with his friends, and people were already playing with other people. Yeah, so if you played cool. with the PlayStation Three, they limited a lot of the raids to indoors only because the the PlayStation Three and the Xbox 360 uh, wasn't able to power it full enough. It is what it was. No. Well, the raids. I mean, look at um, Crota's End. It was all like indoors, very small areas. Yeah, and there wasn't very big. And it's agree. also because of Xbox 360 and PS3 that the areas had to be so small. I disagree. Yeah. Well, we, I don't know why do you, why do you disagree to this? Because there's games with huge environments on PlayStation Three and Three Six that have but on that have all these six people playing yeah. together co-op Red, Red 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 with Red very precise mechanics. Red Dead Redemption. Yeah, they have all these huge open world games. That ba- have Battlefield the Battlefield's totally different though. How? Battlefield Battlefield, you're not playing like that much AI. You're playing against people versus exactly. People. You don't have all these AI well, guys popping complicated- up. You're just playing against other players. About Halo. What about Halo? They had huge maps and lots of AI. Halo 5 was only on Xbox One. Talking about Halo 4. 
Halo 4 was downgraded graphics. It still is huge. The Halo 4's graphics are better than the But you Destiny's only play with graphics. two. Didn't you only play with two? No. You only, yeah, you only have two co-op. Yeah, four. With, a, with AI? Yeah. No, that was a really small area. No. Like, I'm talking ODST? Big areas. Kind of like Firefight? You're talking about Firefight? <laughs> no. I'm with the whole thing. Firefight was tiny. Ryan doesn't know his Ding, here. ding. Get out of here. No specifics it, whatsoever. I have tons of, I'll, yeah. I'll have notes. It'd be as vague as possible. <laughs> no. Slinging. I'm not talking about Firefight. More pepper ball. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> also, in Destiny news, all the players will be able to earn the updated... Galhorn. Galhorn as a quest reward, but if you pre-order it, it comes in black. You don't know what the Galhorn is? I have never played Destiny. What the fuck? <laughs> I was struggling to even say this. I was just going to call it the G-Horn. Fuck? That's why Tommy is so happy. <laughs> <laughs> and I sure. think the Galhorn, is it going to be the same kind of firing mechanics as the original? I, I don't know, to be honest. I don't know if they're going to nerf it, but I mean, it's cool that they're making sure everybody gets... A, the guns they need to be able to play the raids now instead of but what if you don't even need it for just making raid? it random well if, well, if you pre-order it it's just sure cool and black are you the only one that's going to play this Will here well, I already have a few people that said they're going to buy it anybody else you're going to play it so? probably not probably not I'm hoping it has a platinum but it's probably not going to is there going to be a physical version probably uh, I don't know hmm. each other one has one Holy the last shit. couple it speaks Curtis, 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 and and um, get him, and the other one didn't. Yeah, but um, they eventually became part of Taken King. I will not be uh, playing this. I've retired from uh, Destiny. So no way, Encore is gonna be on there for sure. I know it until Destiny Damn, Two comes out. Guns. Who else? Who else is not gonna play it? I'm not gonna play. I'm it. not gonna play it. Well, you don't even have your original copy anymore. Do not. Well, you looks got like a lot of people yep. aren't gonna be playing this. I, don't I, I, just, I think that with the bad day, what, what you do with it? You just throw he, it away. He couldn't jump it back. He, he couldn't jump in this one <laughs> so, level and got really frustrated. I think that was like one of the. Wait, last you really times. sent your copy back? Yeah, I sent it back. How long did you have it for? Like a year? <laughs> like two years. Well, I had, I, had, I had upgraded the to the Taken King, so I got rid of my original original copy. Oh. But I only had Taken King for I don't know, like two or three months. <laughs> he he was sent it. We played that raid a few times. That's right, I did. Yeah, I did write a note to him. He wrote a letter to Bungie and put his game in it saying he was disappointed. <laughs> and, and Bungie then ignored him. <laughs> and they never replied. And then they sucked Jimmy Graham's copy. And then, and then, I, saw, yeah, then I saw like four special copies of PS4s and um, Taken Kings with like signed signatures from all the development team going people on Twitter. And like, Bungie's they're just doing this spite you, I Jeff. Mean, those people that read my letter, they're all bitches if you listen to this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, on that note, Straight Ubisoft up. has <laughs> permanently banned cheaters on Division and Rainbow Six Siege. You guys think this is becoming a standard? Is it too harsh? You think it's legal? I think it should be standard, yes. That's what I was wondering. Okay, so you buy a game that you, I guess you don't own it now, and so you cheat and they ban you from playing the entire game or just the online part of the game? Online I think part. It, but those online are online part. games, so you can't play the game. There's yeah. nothing else I, you can play? You, no, I don't think you can think, play. You can't play Division offline. I think it's almost every online agreement you, you have, you're... You're lease, kind of leasing the game from mm-hmm. them for the multiplayer part, the yeah, online part. Thing you always push. X so you never through. actually, you never actually own it. So let's say like Halo, Halo Five. If you were cheating and they banned you, you would still be able to play the campaign. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah, no, that's cool. Then yeah, ban everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Just ban them all. Yeah, but like Overwatch, it's only online yeah, multiplayer. No, right, right, so. right. I think that's totally fair, and it should be a way to punish people that cheat because cheaters. In these games, make it not fun for people that other people that are playing. Yeah, because if you if you cheat in like so say single player mode, like nobody cares because you know it just affects you only. But if you're cheating and it's affecting other people's play who are trying to play correctly, then you know you're screwing up their gaming experience and you could ruin their you know the game for them potentially, which could lead to other people talking bad about the game, saying yeah this game sucks, everyone just cheats, and then it just pitfalls. And now you make the game look bad. Does anybody remember going to like those computer cafes and playing Counter Strike? Yes. Yeah. And then all those people using aimbots, and you're just like freaking getting <laughs> pissed off. <laughs> or if you took a poop on yourself, pooping in the toilet, or pooping in your own panties Pants. and sticking them in the toilet, clogging it. Ryan, <laughs> would, you, but, would you like to share the story? <laughs> the greatest story That's ever told. For another night. What is Sloan gonna do if they're he's not able to exploit any glitches? <laughs> Remember we told Sloan about how they were gonna ban people playing Overwatch. He got really scared and started googling how to cheat so he doesn't do it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then it was really funny because like if you have to like look up 
ways to cheat just to like get better how, what does that mean about like how good you are a player online anyway so what's the point of you playing you're never going to be able to play in a competition never you're be not, player at a game yeah you're never going to get mean, there's nothing to collect it means you have no patience I understand the online aspect of it but like I said in the group text the other day about Fallout like it would suck playing Fallout again without the coin cheat because I mean it just it progresses the game faster and the game's so big and there's so much to do in it anyway that if I had to start playing Fallout 4 again I would rather have the beginning of it, you know, sped up a little bit so I got better weapons, better upgrades, stuff like that, just to make it a little more enjoyable. Because my personality, I would lose interest and not play it at all. So I, not patience, right? I agree. Yeah, Fallout 4 is one of the games I kind of go in expecting the cheat. I mean, if you go on, if you play on PC, there's even like a console you can type in stuff and generate things. I mean, usually that people play for that game. 4 or for Fallout games? You, Full you, for Bethesda games like Skyrim, uh, Elder Scrolls. You, usually people expect there to be glitches and bugs and, and things. I mean, I'm but sure. single player though, so. If you were able to yeah. keep your copy on Xbox One, I'm sure there was a mod because mods are on Xbox One now that would allow you to kind of get around things like that. I don't know. It feels like a double edged sword. Like, I remember when I started playing GTA V, I got really into the game. And I was doing pretty well until halfway through. I started kind of lag, slack, you know, lagging on the game. So I decided to try out some of the cheats. And the next thing I knew, I didn't give a fuck about the game. I was just blowing shit up to blow shit up. I was just had like so much money. Like I didn't, I didn't care anymore. The the mechanics of the game went out the window. And then I couldn't find myself going back to playing regular mode without cheating anymore either because I got bored. So like in mm-hmm. a, in a sense, it was fun at first, and then I screwed myself. You got to cheat responsibly. Yeah. yeah, if that's even like possible, you got to cheat responsibly. Cheat responsibly. You're always looking for the next cheat gun, in moderation. the next gun, or the next play mechanic. And if you unlock it all and right. start doing everything, yeah, there's no just, point. Then you're like, all right, well, why am I playing this? Like in Fallout Four, pr- another example is is I cheated to get the the, the spray and, spray and pray that that Tommy gun that does uh, explosive rounds and impact. Uh-huh. And I got that, and like that gun is like undefeatable. You kill anything with that gun. So I vaulted it, and I was like, no, fuck, it's too powerful. <laughs> no, I can't do it. <laughs> don't, don't cheat. cheat don't online. ruin it for just, yourself. Just don't cheat online. Don't be a dick and ruin it for somebody else. That's true. Don't ruin just it like anything somebody. else. Just like smoking in public. Just like doing anything. Don't fuck with anybody else's stuff. Just do it, do it in your own time. Do it at home. <laughs> and Jeff is renting. <laughs> That's it. All right. So Bam. in Bam. other news... Game of Thrones show creators have stated that there's only two more seasons left of the popular hit show. Who put that one in there? Is, is that because that be is that because he can't write enough books? <laughs> He's, he can't keep up, but because there's way more detail in the books than there is in a show. But I don't know why they're stopping at just two more seasons. It seems kind of dumb. People to are me. getting tired of it after a while. Ha- haven't hasn't the show kind of gone away from the books? Haven't they it's, written their it's own It's altered story a bit. It's, it has some of the aspects of the books, but it, it's, it, it's because, going its own route, too. Isn't it because he can't? He hasn't been able to keep up? Like, he hasn't been able to write the books fast enough. They were already pa- they're already past yeah. the books now. George R.R. R. Martin has already told the show creators how the story ends. Uncle, what do you think of uh, Game of Thrones so far this season? Um, I'm liking it a little bit, much more than the last season. Lagging, you like you liking it or you lagging it? I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Uncle says the whole world watches Game of Thrones. Exactly. One day, all the world except half the nerd confessions crew. (laughs) (laughs) Exactly. I I don't know. Uh, Two seasons is good enough. I don't. They don't need to keep milking it. Yeah, they should end it. Can't go forever. Stuff's have to end until he bring. No, until he finishes book books or whatever. And all these Marvel movies. When you what? Those Marvel movies will never end. They'll end eventually. Well, it's fifty years of comics, dude. There's a lot to tell. I guess we got you know. 20 more years of movies. Yeah. Speaking of comics and Marvel, Stan Lee revealed that his favorite superhero movie of all time was the very first Spider-Man. What is your guys' favorite superhero movie? Oh, well, let's go with you. I'll do uh, original Batman, the first one, Michael Tim King? Burton, because of the nostalgia behind it. Tyler, what about you? Uh, Batman Returns. Oh, superhero okay. movie. Mm. That one's the best. That's oh, not too on, far Danny, off. That's pretty Danny, close to mine. Danny DeVito, <laughs> such a good penguin. Well, well, Michelle Pfeiffer. He's a good penguin. Michelle Pfeiffer looks good too. Encore. The Incredibles. Uh, uh, interesting yeah, choice. Yeah, this is a good that's, one. Yeah, that's, it works. Is that a superhero movie? Though? Yeah, super, How about I superhero movie? Family of superheroes. Movie. Yeah. Tyler, Tyler doesn't agree. I, I've actually never seen The Incredibles. What? Oh, that's a mistake. Tyler never sees good movies. You should see I've seen it. a lot of movies. He always just... does watch Mel Brooks movies over and oh, over again. Oh, man. Don't Blazing get me Saddle started. <laughs> I love Mel Brooks. I really like The Punisher. That's probably my favorite. The, the original Punisher? No, there's three of them. Dolph Lundgren? You're talking about Which one? The Punisher? With, uh, Thomas Jane. Kevin, Kevin Nash. Oh. Kevin Nash. The Popsicle? Yeah. Is that's that really Ryan, favorite? Wasn't it Thomas Jane? 
Is it the Kevin Thomas Nash Jane? was yeah, in the Thomas, Thomas Jane. Jane one? Yeah, he's yeah. the... Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, the Russian. Yeah. Yeah, that was a... Dude, That's that was really a your favorite one. favorite? Yeah, I really That's like really that good. Movie. Wow. Dude, that theme song? Hmm. Do you remember the it's, it's good. It's, it's a great movie. It, you know, he ends the same as he started. He just... Did you ever see that little skit? That he was, uh, reprised his role. He did? Yeah. It was like a little 10-minute film that they did with Thomas Jane as oh, Punisher. Yeah, mm-hmm. watch that. Yeah. Ryan? Batman Begins. That's my second the, favorite. The a ultimate good controversial origin choice. Batman. Not even a superhero. So movie. good. <laughs> <laughs> How? How is it not a superhero? Yeah, tell me. Tell it. me. How is it not a superhero movie? Please let's let's all let's all hear this. So we can attack him. <clears throat> Did so, it not get a good enough ratings on Rotten Tomatoes? So hell. Wait, are, we, are we just skipping Ryan because you don't like his opinion? I already gave my opinion. Oh, you, oh okay. What my, you want me to say? Are we just? Since you, can we not repeat somebody else's? No, you or can, can repeat. It's your opinion. Favorite. Okay, my favorite is Batman Returns as well. Not mm-hmm. Batman. Batman one with Michael Keaton. Sorry, the one you said. Yeah, yeah, that's with one of my Penguin favorites. and yeah. Catwoman. Yep. Yeah. If I had a second choice, and this would be my weird choice, would be Howard the Duck. Oh, get the hell out of here! <laughs> that's a what? very weird choice. Wow. That's a very bad movie. <laughs> it's, uh, so we just like to watch bad movies. Howard. No, I just that, that, it was so bad. That dumb song gets stuck. Was it the what's duck? duck? What's that Howard part? the Duck? What's Howard the, the duck? duck? Just that uh, one part though. That's yeah. Steven. That was that a Steven Spielberg movie? No, George, it's like a producer. Lucas. George Lucas. Oh, yeah, so bad. What about the so duck much. condoms? The duck. Oh how about God. the duck boobs? Oh, oh yeah, that was so bad. fucking weird. <laughs> but some people love that movie. I, I know a guy who who absolutely loves it, and he's he might listen to this podcast. Mm. That's fine. Show oh, to him. Oh, I know who you're talking about. Do you? I hope it's a Mike. I don't think you know him. Did you say his name? His name's Lincoln. <laughs> oh, uh-huh. tell Lincoln that Lincoln uh, Six Echo. It's okay. We like it. What? <laughs> Lincoln Six Echo. Lincoln Lawyer. Lincoln Lawyer. Lincoln Avenue. Lincoln Lawyer. Lincoln Logs. Lincoln Logs. Abraham hey, Lincoln. Mm. Yes. What you tell me? <laughs> my my favorite superhero movie is ironically is the Dark Knight because of the villain, not necessarily because of the superhero. Oh 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 oh! I can already say what this strong opinion is going to be here. Is it because he died? No, in, in it has life. nothing to do with it. it has nothing <laughs> to do with it. Disagrees. <laughs> Joker was good, okay. He, uh, <laughs> here it comes. Here it comes. Joker was it, he was great, but it had a big impact because he died. Yeah, no, he I'm made not gonna. All that money, yeah, it was yeah. good. It was I agree good. with him. It if did he make didn't a bigger die, impact. It would, it would, it would have still been good, but it, it, it just had a bigger impact because yeah, he died. The same with uh, Paul Walker and Fast and Furious. Yeah, the shit made billion dollars. Yeah, so I, I agree with that, but I think just the quality of his Joker, the way they, you know, the way the person was, you know, how he acted and everything, that solid, you know, that was solid, and then, you know, the whole conflict, the back and forth, it was a solid superhero movie. It's a I liked it. Perfect movie. He's better than Jack Nicholson. I'll tell you that much. Yeah. Perfect movie. Yeah, it was a movie, not a it's comic very book good. movie. It's a comic book movie. Nah. <laughs> it's not a comic book. A comic movie. book movie is not a genre. You well, can have a comic book movie and be a thriller. He's gonna kill you. His awkward <laughs> argument against that trilogy makes no sense. He's gonna flip this table over. Oh, oh, me? <laughs> 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 That's funny. dang all right well on to other news the graphic novel warcraft bonds of brotherhood is available now it's set 15 years before the upcoming movie it follows a young lothar i can't even say his names leanne and medivh and their adventures in stranglethorn and the decisions that will haunt them forever uh do you guys think this book is worth checking out after seeing the film for any of you massive readers I'm not interested about reading comic books. <laughs> Did it? Has anybody really played WoW? I've played it. Tommy's okay. big in the WoW. I've played it a lot. Are you the only one here that uh, maybe really I played it when it first came out? I thought you just played the Warcraft games. No, I played WoW as well. Oh. Is the movie based off WoW or the other it's games? based off the original lore of like how it all starts? Ah, okay, but you know we'll get into that when the topic comes up. But uh, well, I don't know. I mean, if you're a fan, you know it, there's more stuff to watch uh, to read about. Sounds like a pretty interesting thing. Um, in other news, The Passion of the Christ is getting a sequel. Who put this in here? I've been waiting for this one for <laughs> a long time. Mel Gibson is moving forward on a film that tells the story of Jesus' resurrection. Who put this in here? I have no idea. <laughs> encore. It was oh Encore. Oh, my God. Go why, ahead, why are you looking forward to this? Why are you looking forward I'm not, to this? It was just news. Okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's just, just interesting shit. Remember, dude, I think, so what, we were all the same age, I think. So it was like 2004, it came out, it was a big old deal. 
right? I, 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 I saw never it. saw it. I never saw it either. I saw it. I, I never saw it, but it was. I already know. I, remember, I already know what happened. I knew the ending as well. It's like just, Titanic. Why don't see Titanic? Oh no, you just want to see a guy get beat up most of the movie. That's all it is. Well, it made. It was the highest grossing rated R film at the time. So, I don't know. Um, a poor audience. So. It was, it was interesting. Movie. Batman, The Killing Joke is coming to theaters. And apparently, Mark Hamill, or no, wait, what? He will not be attending the world premiere of Batman. Why not? Don't know. He's but The Killing course. Joke seven, is at eight. the San Diego Comic Con. Oh, he'll be, he's busy filming episode eight, is what you're saying? And nine. I don't know. Yep. Oh, I heard okay. it's only going to be out for like a day or something like that. Something like that. It's only for one day or so. Um, is well, it not been premiered, or I mean, what, what, I don't know anything about this. Uh, Encore, you're the one who put it in. What was the question? Okay, well, since, moving on. Why you have since no he's data. got nothing to say, moving on. Uh, Superman uh, is apparently uh, to appear in the first two episodes of Supergirl season two. Would we like to see a Tom Welling from Smallville return? What do you guys think? I'm down. That yeah. would be cool. I would like that. I don't uh, want to see Tom Welling. I didn't, I didn't watch. watch I didn't watch it either. Why wouldn't you want to see Tom Welling? Well. I didn't. I didn't like it. I didn't like um, Smallville. Did you watch you all like ten Smallville? seasons? I, it was too slow. I it gets like good it. in season eight. <laughs> exactly. Kicked <laughs> in in season nine. <laughs> give it time. I, I, had, I had friends back there then, then that liked it, but I just I didn't like it. I didn't want to get it. I didn't had no interest in it. So I watched it for ten years, and like you know, I it was not that great of a show. So if he did came back in a last well, episode, watched it for ten years. It wasn't <laughs> he watched good? it for ten years and didn't like it. It was something I watched in high school. Rob. I just kept going. That's it. You, you know? didn't like Smallwood at all. It was Smallwood? fine, but it just got goofy, just like Arrow. Anyways, Arrow's um, good. He doesn't. If you nobody's seen it, spoiler. <laughs> <laughs> uh, last so episode of Smallville. Attitude. Uh, he finally puts on the fucking uh, costume. Wait, it takes 10 years for him oh to put on a costume? Yeah. That, that's the number one complaint I had with that. Wow. Is why is he not it's in his costume? Smallville, dude. <laughs> it's called Smallville, dude. It's called Smallville. Well, not it's, it's not about him. It's about his before he becomes yeah. Superman. So, I mean, if, but like, how interesting can that be to go on for 10 years? Well, apparently it was interesting enough to make 10 seasons of it. Yep. <laughs> so, like, the people that you know invested 10 years into that show, so if he comes back as Superman and Supergirl, I think that, you know, they'll pay off. What the I guess that's cool for the fans if you yeah. liked it. I, I liked it. I thought it was cool. I still haven't finished it, but damn. I would. I mean, I when I see Superman, I kind of resonate with Smallville originally as the, you know, the origin story of him. So yeah, the first two, three seasons were interesting. good. Yeah, the first two, three, and then, you know, the whole but, Lex but then, Luthor was way better than the crap from yeah, Batman versus Superman. But when then Lana started Jesus. getting around, I was like, what is this? Yeah, then it starts kind of getting nuts in the middle. It's like, what the hell is going on? It's all this back and forth, this alien stuff. Eh, all right. Well, he's an alien. He's an alien. Yeah, but it goes beyond just like him. It gets weird. It's like I don't know. You have to just watch it. Not gonna watch it. Well, how much can you do in ten years? You have to get creative and do weird stuff. Well, they had Supergirl and Aquaman and yeah, Arrow. As a whole, well, if they already had Supergirl, came. then he she, he can't be in this one. That has Supergirl. I remember when it was a big deal that they had the Flash come in, but it has nothing to do with like the way the Flash's story actually goes. So this was weird Flash. Well, he's really was, fast, so he could be anywhere. I was just never like five minutes. I was just never a fan of it. Who's faster, Quicksilver or the Flash? That's like your question I had the other day. I, I didn't look it up. I have no idea. This was your question the other day. We should. We, my guess, should be our question. My guess would week. be the Flash because he can travel back in time. Superman traveled back in time. So who's faster, the Flash or Superman? Well, they do race. Ooh, and who won? That was that cartoon. I don't right? remember. Was it a tie? They got interrupted by a catastrophic. Oh event. yeah, so we never know the verdict. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, Namor, Namor, uh, what right. are you probably right. Namor? I can't say. Namor Knights has <laughs> reverted back to Marvel. I think you mean the more rights have yes, reverted yes, back to Marvel? Yeah. Namor rights. Uh, Na- rights? Namor, the... Whoever wrote this, the Submariner, right? The Submariner. This is Knights. Yeah, Submariner. This is what happens when I don't do the show notes. Well, hey, what's the difference between the Submariner and Aquaman? I guess Namor is more interesting than Isn't Aquaman. Namor Marvel? Why is it more interesting? He was with uh, Universal, I think. Didn't we talk about this last week? And Namor is what they based Superman off of. That was uh, Doc Savage. Oh yeah, yeah. Doc Savage. So Namor's well, like, getting all these old American. rights back, I guess. Well, he said, I guess he was at a uh, Universal, and just same thing with the Hulk. You know, like if, uh, if they make a standalone Hulk movie, Universal has first rights or something like that. But Marvel can use them in their film. So Namor, you know, they got him back. Apparently, I guess. Uh, what's his name? Kevin Smith was talking to Joe Casada, Marvel CEO or something like that. He's a head of C- uh, Marvel, and he said that they believe they got the rights back. But he wasn't. He didn't say it for sure. He didn't. He didn't want to say anything like, and for certain. Excuse me, Jeff. I'm gonna go 
do my daily workout at Planet Hulk. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be such an awesome name for a gym. <laughs> yeah, just gonna hit Planet Hulk for an hour. You know, so he's probably not gonna get his own film or anything like that. But maybe he'll be in Infinity Wars or something. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know too much about the character except for he's just like Aquaman, basically. But yeah, it doesn't yeah. sound like a very but, interesting. But he character. has he's uh, everybody that like knows about the comics. They say he's much more interesting than Aquaman. Oh yeah, I saw this news actually. I think he fight him or help him in Ultimate Alliance. Fan- one yeah, I or guess two. he's really fantastic for him and fantastic for they have a lot of comic. Did we play Ultimate Alliance? Ooh, that was good. I wish they'd make another one. Sugar Man. The first one was good. The, I think oh, that that's was, a, the uh, top down Legends. Game. Yeah, four player, so good. The second one kind of sucked, but the first one was so good. Second one was good. Nah. Sugar Man. In other Marvel news, uh, it seems that Brie Larson is the front runner to be casted as Captain Marvel in the upcoming film. What do you guys think of that? I don't really know anything about her. She's from... She was in The Gambler. What was that movie? Jump Street? 21 Jump Street? Which? And then that one night... Scott Pilgrim one? I right? don't know. Scott, Scott Pilgrim, Pilgrim, Scott Pilgrim versus the World. Versus the World. Yeah. 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 So I guess... Uh, what's his name? Chris Evans and Dorster. She'd, like, she'd be really cool. Cause he's so oh God, is Br- Brie Larson is a woman, so is she's going to be Mrs. Marvel? Or Miss Captain, Captain Marvel? Marvel. Captain Carol Marvel. Danvers. Captain Marvel. I'm confused. Isn't, I don't know what's. Isn't Captain Marvel a man in the comics? Yeah. I think there's two versions or something. Isn't Captain Marvel like a little boy? In, that's no, I'm thinking Shazam. somebody else. Isn't that Shazam? Shazam? Yeah, I'm thinking about Shazam. Shazam. Kazam? Not sure. Kazaa? Shazam. Shazam. Kazoo? In other exciting <laughs> news, <laughs> it seems that Star Wars Episode Eight has finally finished filming. Woohoo! Mm. Woo! Mm-hmm. That's good. Woo! Star Wars. Too bad it's gonna take filming. forever to come back onto theaters. Well, it's supposed whatever. to come out in May, I guess, right? It was May of next year, right? But now it's gonna be in December of next December. year, so it's more post production and all that crap. Well, it better be better. It's more for it's more for advertising, I think. Yeah. Jesus. That's it's 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 interesting. They finished their filming. It takes them about a year and so much. I think I'm gonna to like finish, this. Right? A lot of, it lot of editing. Take time. Yeah. I mean, if they're gonna take that time, plus they have they have to have more time between Rogue One and Episode Eight. I think that's what it is. Yeah, too. that could be. They, it. Need, they need they need more advertising and marketing. I think it's mostly the because movies. there's less competition from anything. It'll be the only thing coming out. Yeah, it worked out well for them last time. Less competition and people are willing to go see it. How much yeah. money do you even though it's last December? Star Wars and it gives them more time to uh, it gives them more time. Worldwide? Two billion dollars worldwide for the last Star Wars movie. Do you think Nine, Rogue, do you think Rogue One is gonna make something? No, Rogue One. I'm not sure if Rogue One. It, it won't. Nine hundred thirty million domestic and two billion worldwide. Jesus, still didn't beat Avatar. Encore. Will it beat <laughs> Jurassic World? Is Avatar a better movie? Yes. Yes. Made more money. No. <laughs> <Did> Avatar <laughs> sucks. Well, as Horrible will, movie. As Will reinstate. Will stated. Did it beat Jurassic World? Yeah. What? what do, you, do, you, do you think Rogue One will beat Jurassic World? No. Jurassic. Uh, no. Jurassic oh, here World, we go. Where does Jurassic go? It has a one point six billion. I think we're reestimating this based off of Episode Seven beat, way beating <laughs> Jurassic Did Uncle World. Did Uncle ever pay up for that bet? I don't think so. Did you? Man of his word. I like it. I don't remember. Still owes me. That means that's a no. That's always that's an excuse. No. <laughs> Still owes me money for Papa. I don't know what you guys. <clears throat> Are you ten pieces? Bro? Anyway, <laughs> don't we give you a quarter? Uh, moving on, uh, composer John Williams will return to the Indiana Jones series to score the fifth film in the adventures of the famed archaeologist that's due on July 19th, 2019. So far away. Really far I away. <laughs> and Harrison Ford's... Is he going to be alive by that point? I know. Like, he's so that, that, that's I feel bad. I that's feel risky. bad because John Williams is like making... Yeah, he's really old, too. He's really old, so what do they... Do they expect him to keep making well, all the Star Wars movies? he doesn't or anything, dude. He just you know, makes the music and some other guy conducts. That's where all this... You know. I know he makes the music, but he can only do so much. It's 2019 you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, uh, episode seven's... Uh, I mean, there's a lot of there's a lot of good composers. Hasn't John there. Williams been like composing shit since the seventies? <laughs> he's an old Star guy. Wars, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah he's, it's early seventies. That old. just shows you how good his shit is. It's I know it's still, well, it's still going yeah, at it. It doesn't stink. But well, right. last, yeah, I don't know if you guys know. If you guys pay attention to scores or anything. His last memorable one was the uh, Harry Potter. Wow, I think. Uh, Force Awakens is very memorable. Didn't Force Awakens have the <laughs> race theme? Yeah, just, yeah. <laughs> race uh, theme was Episode very popular. one, two, and three had memorable scores. So are, you, are you not a fan Phantom of Menace? Danny Elfman? Phantom Duel of the Fates? Yeah. That Duel of Fates, iconic. Across the Stars. What about Danny Elfman? Are you a fan of him? Me? Yeah. Yeah, he's cool. Hans Zimmer? Han, I, fuck Hans Zimmer. Hans Zimmer is so Zimmer. good. Is, Hans Zimmer is so good. good. It's, it's so good. Shit. No, it's not the same shit. Holy crap. <laughs> What? You're, 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 you
John Williams. Wouldn't you I didn't theoretically? Say I like, did I say I like John Williams? Oh, you don't like did John? I? Did I say that? Okay, I guess you he doesn't made like it him. seem oh, like you did. You made it seem like you liked him. Did I say that though? Well, did you? So you did don't. You so do you or do you not? He's asking. You it's okay. But he hasn't done it. He's, 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 you know. Well, if he's okay, then Tommy, as Tommy's point would stand, then you would think that Hans Zimmer's okay. Since you can say they're the same. Uh, Hans Zimmer uses the same tones and stuff. So he's okay. Mm. Pirates, Pirates of the Caribbean 1. You guys remember music from that? Yeah. I do. Yeah. I do. Yeah. And then he did 2 and 3. Same shit. Uh, it's, the, it's the theme of the, the It's franchise. supposed to be the same, man. They changed it's not it a, a little bit. You gotta one change it up. I mean, you gotta change. He just rehashes song. themes, dude. You want the, start, you want the okay, opening why, song for Star Wars to change? Why would he go? Why would Hans Zimmer go on the freaking... Loud noises. Why would he his job properly. I love Lamp. Why would Hans Zimmer go on a news... You know, report... Fuck. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm pissed now. <laughs> we got him. Interview. Got he used him. interview and he said, I'm done with superhero movies because that fool cannot make shit anymore. He's done. His shit is the same. He sucks. He doesn't want to do superhero movies because he, he doesn't to, have he anything. He wants to challenge himself. No, he doesn't want to do superhero movies because he, 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 movies anymore. Because because he wants to do like more dramatic stuff. Like, it, it'll be the same shit. That'll change boom. the world. Boom. Like, I'll do it again. Oh, Inception. That same shit. Good. Yeah, but it sets the mood of the movie. It's the same tone. Yeah, and it does a really good job. He doesn't. That guy and Superman. What was it? Man of Steel. That's because of Zack Snyder. It was shit. He, Zack Snyder had I'm pretty sure that I'm pretty sure the, the, the directors director wanted it. Everything. Yeah, they wanted it like they that. They give them guidance. He gives them what they asked for. Zack it's not Snyder. like he goes and goes, you know yeah. what? I think this would be good for this. The director he, of a Zack movie. Zack Snyder tells the, the Hans direct, Zimmer. The director of the movie has to approve this the is composer. Hans Zimmer, right? Yeah. yeah. That's true. But it's Hans Zimmer. Okay. He probably told fucking Zack Snyder, this is what I'm doing. Zack Snyder's the boss. I has to approve what he's doing. the boss anymore, dude. <laughs> oh wow alright then after that little rage fest um, WikiLeaks has released some of Sony's emails uh, allegedly that Bill Murray is being forced to promote the new Ghostbusters movie under the threat of a lawsuit you guys think this is a sign of a poor movie or do you think Bill Murray's just being stubborn mm, Bill's a stubborn he shouldn't have to promote it if he doesn't want to read the email so do you want me to it read happens the email? all the time read the email so, so from some gentleman named David Steinberg it goes and says in order to be more fully evaluate our position if Bill Murray again declines to engage on Ghostbusters in quotes uh, AG requests that we identify aggressive in quotes litigation counsel with whom we can consult and evaluate alternative alternative strategies so they're looking for a way to sue bill murray or get him scared enough that he will start promoting the movie well i mean do you think i mean if he started going yeah the movie's gonna suck or you didn't even promote it, it's like yeah it's gonna be okay do you think it would be a bad effect but people would be like yeah man if bill murray doesn't like it fuck it do movies yeah do. i do i think all the enraged nerds are would lose their minds last time the uh, nerd culture or something. Nerd culture. Remember we were telling him we were talking it was about Ryan the saying what the is, angry is, nerd culture. Yeah, all, all nah, the angry nerd culture so are, are going to be like, see, see, Bill Murray doesn't like it. See, that means it's going to be shit. See, it's true. <laughs> it's true. Irrational fucktards on the back of their computer screens. Well, I guess, I guess the only way we're going to solve well, this. They is have some the rationality movie. behind their hate behind the Ghostbusters no, movie. It's, ba- it's mainly based on the fact they pay no. No, they they don't build off the heritage from the original. You don't know that you haven't seen the movie. What are you doing? The, the, having your pee-pee the original you characters doing? make cameos as different characters. So? They don't even like pass a torch or anything. I don't need it. It's new. It doesn't have to re- reboot. That's all I'm saying. Well, anyway. maybe it's not. Maybe we're gonna surprise you. That'd be a fun surprise. The one guy did make a like, make a good point. That that video I watched. Who'd you send? Um, James Rolfe. Yeah, he did make a good point, saying that this movie doesn't make any. Is it a reboot? Is it not a reboot? We don't know. If it was a reboot, why not call it like Ghostbusters, a second coming or something? And then he watched this history of Ghostbusters 3, which he was like anticipating his whole life. Yeah. You know, watching all the news. Or Ghostbusters <laughs> generation. I'm so butthurt about that. <laughs> <laughs> all right. And then the final bit of news is some tech news. Apple apparently is having an event in San Francisco on Monday. And it seems that they're going to be making some big reveals, but it's not going to be hardware this time. It's actually going to be software. Updates to Siri, the OS X the OS X and the Apple Music. And one of the cool features that apparently it's going to be talked about is those pesky Apple apps that we can't get rid of. You can possibly be able to hide them now. You still can't get rid of them? No, you can't. You can just put them in a folder, but you can't actually remove them off your phone. 
So it was just always there. So this will just be hiding them, but they're still there. Yeah, still they're still stupid. there, but it's not on the screen anymore. <laughs> you can already um, put them in a folder, can't you? Yeah, you can put them in a folder, the folder is still there. Well, now, so you, like, now you can hide so like, it. If you don't watch, if you don't oh, use the stocks... Or I you hate use looking at this friends. app. <laughs> so this is making it so you can hide the apps like on the phone no matter what. Yeah. Well, no, I think it's just Apple only. like. Yeah, like the calculator or yeah. stocks. Yeah, so like if you have a kid who doesn't need you know messing with these things, you can just hide it. And then, boom, they can just use the apps that are on the oh, phone. Oh, so you could hide the settings app. Well, I think that would be kind of counterproductive. Or at least you could password it, so you have the password to get in. Well, what if kid. you give it to a kid? Yeah, parental controls. Well, Why what not? if you want them to be able to access other apps? You know, well, we're not going to get into this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dang. Like, so much, like, why would you give your kid an uh, iPhone and then be still worried about the apps? Like, what? doesn't make any sense uh, some people just worry some people have kids that they give their kid their phone and all of a sudden they change something they don't have to change don't it give back your, kid your fucking phone remember you never Jeff, had anybody give them a phone like you i don't know what they changed jeff remember when kaylee up? bought all the batman dlc and you had to call sony and get a refund <laughs> yeah i did <laughs> <laughs> and guess what never again will that happen because he ain't gonna give her because the phone. I password the shit out of everything <laughs> well that's a little bit different because there has to be a password on uh on your purchasing Huh. I would never give my kids my phone. So that's just, that's just me. Also, additionally, uh, since a lot of, if you notice, a lot of the phones lately have, like, you know, you got Cortana for Windows and all this, you know, Siri's kind of been sitting in the back burner. And apparently, Apple is going to bump in a lot of uh, money into Siri now. So you're going to have a way, like, a Siri that functions better. It's smarter AI. I heard about this. I think they're doing it to compete with Amazon's Echo, which is getting more and more features as time goes on yeah so you think like in the future you'll be able to like use your phone to like open your door walk in turn on your favorite tv channel and everything before you even get in the house i mean like i can a, do that like right a now. jarvis system i can do that right now with yeah. my lights <laughs> oh, <those goddamn laughs> light bulbs. 300 dollar light bulb so nice <laughs> they're so good but i think the light bulb Hey, Ryan, Good. what do you want to have? It's not just one light bulb. Listen, it's three light bulbs. <laughs> no, no, it's yeah, more it's than that. That's why it was so expensive. And listen, if you want to set the mood, you say Alexa, sexy time. And it does sexy time. <laughs> I think saying Alexa, sexy time is going to kill the mood instantly. Oh, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. One, no. Time, one time I was trying to yell at my Xbox to do something, and the lady was like, you talk to it? That's so sexy. No one ever said that. <laughs> yeah, no they do. Oh, right. They did. That, the they're they're, they're, they're trying to get on my now. good side, though, so there's... <laughs> My, they, even even like like uh, cable companies, my parents just changed their cable uh, box, and my dad was talking to it today and was changing channels. I was like, "What the hell? Even this has a speaking feature? Like, is I think it's gonna get to a point where we're not even gonna like fucking move our arms." It's like fucking lazy culture. My my God TV damn. my TV has a speaker in it. It's yeah, but weird. their cable box has the lazy, goddamn lazy function. I, I don't like that though because it says like it goes, "What would you like to do?" And I'm saying like, uh, "I didn't push you," and then it'll just like <laughs> change channel, and I hate that. You but. know who never second guesses me? The remote. Your mom? <laughs> <laughs> the remote. It's true. The remote stays true. No, that's exactly what he's talking to. His it. remote has a microphone in it. My remote has a <laughs> microphone. <laughs> in the remote yeah. buttons. <laughs> and then my, my microphone, uh, not my microphone, my remote also has some kind of connection to the internet. And it, like, it'll, the TV will say, your magic remote has very poor connection. And then it'll just like, the screen will start acting weird. Yeah, your, your remote is something It's else. connection to that, the internet? Yeah, it gets, it's a connection to the TV. It's weird. It's like the route, it's like it's uh, antenna. Oh, you mean it's like a Wi-Fi-ish? Yeah. No, it's connected to the Wi-Fi, which connects the TV to the Wi-Fi. It's kind of weird. It's an LG TV. I'll show it to you next time you come over. That's weird. Are you sure you're just not confusing the, si- the signal? No, no. It, whenever the TV starts having issues with like signal, Apple Apple TV and the Fire TV remotes are kind of similar to that, where it connects to the device not through infrared but through like a, a connection. It could be. The I don't know. It just that the, it like when it when it does fail, like Netflix completely shuts out. So hmm. that's kind of weird. That's really that's weird. But anyway, that concludes our news for the week. Jesus, it was a lot of stuff. <sighs> So we're we have a nerd question of the week. This is brand spanking new. Don't worry about who did it. So the question is: like If you were given the budget by Microsoft or any other major company to create or remake any game, what would you make? We're we talking like just updating graphics, or it could be anything. You could remake. You just you had money to build a game. You could redo a game or build a game. What I got one, one game would you? Pay? I already got one. All right, what you got? Dark Forces. Ooh, oh, that's a nice choice. I used to love that game so much. Remake just, it with just Dark graphics, Forces, or, just or do you it? want to do like Jedi Academy? Or no, I mean it would be nice, but I mean if you just go on one game, Dark it's Forces. A good pick. It's a really good pick. 
I don't know why I even thought of that so quick. That can, I, can I say one? <laughs> you go, yes. Well, one, well, two. First okay. one, one, one is <laughs> already, not enough. <laughs> what, well, because no, okay, well, the first one is Final Fantasy VII, which is already being remade, but um, also um, Shadows of the Empire. A remake oh, of that would be, that'd be awesome. amazing. The Long overdue. Shadows of the Empire, yeah. a really overdue. good game. Yep. The first, and make it canon. If you can make that, you know... It was like one of my favorite games because the ship battles were also pretty cool. Yeah, and yeah. Then, everything about that game was so how, good. How is it, it still holds up. I was going to say, how is it that the snow speeder battle in Shadows of the Empire is more fun to play than Battlefront? Yeah, it's, yeah it really That's is. sad. That is really weird. But I liked I liked that game a what lot. Would, what would you remake, Soa? Or make? Oh, if I would remake any type of game. Or make, it could be an original game too. If I had a choice, do you remember, anybody remember Star Wars Online? Star Wars, Star Wars Online. Yeah, I yeah. remember it. I if they can remake that and then rebuild it and retool it and bring it back, I would totally play it. Again. What was it? Just an open world? It was open Did world you play Star it? Wars. Yeah, I played it. Yeah, it was, was open it for world PC? Star Wars. Yeah, for PC. It was made by Sony, Sony Online Entertainment. So, I think is the name of the company. Mm. Not Brian. So, S-O-E. but yeah, S O E. And you'd play basically any. You had a choice in whatever character you wanted. You built a house. Oh. And you can invite people over your house. Yeah, I mean, I, I read a lot about it and heard about it. I didn't want to pay for su- the subscription, but I heard good things. But yeah, people paid... are pissed off because you can be a Jedi. Yeah, that's what made it good because everyone wanted to be a Jedi. And then all of a sudden they allowed it at the last minute for a reason, uh, some reason. And everyone started playing as Jedis and then the game just <laughs> fell apart. When did, when was it released? Long time when Planet Side was out. Long time ago. No, I can't. I'm trying to think I of I want to say 2002. A time long, long ago. When PlayStation 2 was out. Or okay. just coming out. Oh. First thing I would do is buy Irrational Games. I would buy everything that has the rights or any of the development team for System Shock 2 and System Shock 1 and get them working on System Shock 3, which they're already doing. But I want to fund it and make it the biggest game it could be. So you're officially saying you want to fund it now? <laughs> Put them on the spot. With the, with the Microsoft. Uh, oh, you know, they were right, about. right. <clears throat> I never played those I'm games. I'm trolling you. I haven't heard of those games. Sorry. You play Bioshock. Same yeah, I did. Thing, oh, pretty okay. much. This is updated. Good. Yeah. Surprisingly. Ryan, what would you pick? Being the massive gamer that you are. Chrono Trigger. High res 2D art, no 3D. <laughs> okay. Acting, Boring. Voice acting and exclusive to the PlayStation Vita. Would you get Akira oh back? Akira Toyama? That's a lot of detail there. <laughs> Ankur, what would you pick? GoldenEye with Pierce Brosnan. Oh my oh god! Oh man! Didn't they remake Goldeneye? They did with, with Daniel Craig. Yeah, it wasn't it was that terrible. It was bad. And it was for the Wii. Yeah, it was. It was bad. Oh, what? It was fun. It was fun for like they put it on PS3. Like, oh, they did. Yeah. Well, they eventually, yeah. eventually did, but it wasn't Goldeneye, much of a though. step up. Thomas? I would, uh, I would remake the entire World of Warcraft. There's so much that didn't they just, just remake it with the last expansion? No, you they, mean they didn't? I mean, I would revamp the redo whole, the story for I, one, two, three. Not and the then... story, but like a lot of the game mechanics. I would make it like Witcher three. Imagine World of Warcraft with Witcher three mechanics and graphics. Holy shit! Where it's mainly a single player experience? No, multiplayer. Oh, okay, like a massive. Th- so that you're saying would be you amazing. just want you want to redo World of Warcraft? The whole, yes, the whole goddamn thing. Start a new with new graphics. Mm-hmm. It's so, their graph is so old. It's annoying. It's like everyone's got all these like great games, and then Warner Work is like, yeah, yeah. We just put like a nose feature. It's like what the fuck. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what I would pick. Anyway, so moving on to the topic of the week, number one, Gone Home. Ooh. How do we like the environment? Or actually, for those who don't know what Gone Home is, Ryan, why don't you tell them what the game's about? I don't want to spoil it. It's so good. Say it without spoiling it. Come on. Hour long. I mean, geez. yeah, it's. <clears throat> but the best part is you don't know what it is. It's a really short game. You step into it, you don't know exactly where you're getting into. It's eerie. You have to kind of. Mm-hmm. You do know where you are. Well, you don't really know what you're getting all, all, all into. All What's going on inside this place that you're at? Yeah, Which I find hard to believe. But and all you, you gotta you say to about this game is read the title. That's what it is. The title is Gone Home. You're going home. Is it kind of like that one game uh, where you like the guy with a scarf? And you're going through the sands and stuff. No, not like that. Game well, it's a mystery. You go into this place. What game was it? Journey. After Journey. You're, trying to, you're trying to figure out what's going on inside this house. Yeah, but, but it's you going back to your parents' place. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> In the end, that's all it is. We still have to figure out what happened exactly. Yeah, so, it's, so it's a game it. that you don't know what the heck is going. on. I just got to figure it out. Yeah, it's, it's solving a mystery. This game new. This game's not new. No, it's, it's not new. 2013. I played like oh, two years ago. Yeah. 
And it's, <laughs> it's, you can beat, like Jeff said, you can beat in less than an but hour. But the best thing about the game is you don't know what it's going to be. Even like the box art, the, the, the art about it gives you a creepy vibe. And the whole yeah. game tries to promote that. And that's not what it's about. And that's like, and the, my favorite things about it is like you're expecting something to happen mm-hmm. and then you're getting engrossed in every, all the story that it's telling and it turns out to be something you no, don't expect. I went but back I went back and I, I did you listen to the little audio logs that they have? No, the game went, for me was a one-time thing. I have no oh, really? interest to play it a second time. I went back. one-time experience, it's fantastic. I went back just to get the trophies quick on PS4. <laughs> you're trying to get platinum on a <laughs> there's, 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 there's no, no platinum. platinum. There's no platinum for it. Um, and I, did, I realized I have audio logs, and one of the people that did the sound design for the game was like, oh, everybody comes up to him and says, oh, that was really cool how I walked in this room and the sound played. But he said it's all random, and it is random, and, and just going through the place, the da- sound is done in such a way it doesn't feel like it's random. Mm-hmm. So it's pretty I, cool. I felt like the environment was really nice. Yeah, it was. In, the whole I in fact, in fact, there's only there's amazing. only one scripted event. As far as like sound or something going on in a room. Which one? Uh, I don't want to say it. This game came out like two years ago. I know. All right, all right. When you did you go into that secret passageway? Which one? Under the stairs? The first time you found you found if you go through the closet, through the parents' closet. Yeah, when you go through the parents' closet. Yeah. And you oh, Narnia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then uh, there's a little cross that you pick up. Yeah. You pick up that cross. And a bulb burns out, and the, oh, yeah, the, whole, yeah, the yeah. whole room goes super dark. Ooh. Yeah, that part. That's you the didn't, only. You didn't get to that part. I don't, I don't that's know, the I only remember. scripted event. It scared me so much. Right. And it scared <laughs> me too. I was like, this is a horror game. <laughs> I was when when it scared. happened, I'm like, fuck this, and then I paused it, and then I. I was only scared for like the first twenty minutes, and then I realized what what's going on here. And it scared me because I was like getting comfortable. Like, okay, this is not a horror game. And then all of a sudden that happens. This is a horror game. What's going on? Exactly what happened. Not a horror game. <laughs> Do you guys think this is a replayable game? No, 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 no. not at all. Definitely not. It's a the story experience. wasn't even. God, this, like, like no. he said, there's like, oh, cool. What's gonna happen next? At the very end, he's like, she just had a girlfriend. That's yeah. That's the fucking I, I kind of wish there was more. To it didn't it bring a tear up. to your eye at all. It builds no. up really well. It brought a tear to my eye. I just wish it was longer. <laughs> like really, like she, to, yeah. The whole thing longer. was me finding out she had a girlfriend. Be, that's it. So you think? So it wasn't unique enough to hold your interest. I think it was extremely unique. I played the game. Yeah, no, it was. But I just I enjoyed it. I was the voice actor did a really good job. Yeah, I think the voice acting. She had a was girlfriend. I mean, how common is that? People have girl, girls don't have girlfriends, and like that's silly. not in 1995. Yeah, the mid 90s. Think about the media. This game didn't come out in 95, though. And I know, I was but more the story. Inter- no, the story. The I was game. more interested yeah. in what was going on with the mom and the dad than I was the daughter. The daughter I could almost care less about, but the dad, with all like the failed books and all that stuff yeah. like that, I thought there might have been like some type what, of like what suicide thought, thing did going on. Think his dad was a drinker. Well, yeah, because he had that bar and everything, and liquor was everywhere. But not, what, what I thought was weird, all the VCRs were missing. Yeah, I thought that too. I don't know why. Well, that and Does it there's sequel? not one pair of shoes in the house. Sequel. <laughs> <laughs> well, what are all their shoes? <laughs> but that, that was in the audio logs too. They yeah. said they had to exclude certain things. And it was kind of something that you your imagination fill in the rest because they only have so many resources. So there's no shoes. But why? And yeah, they they, I, they didn't want to put the VCR players in because you'd want to take the tapes and put them in there. And they didn't. Oh, they didn't oh I see. What about that condom? Oh yeah, that was funny. She's ill or like gross. Who, whose room was that? That was the parents' room. Oh, I thought it was hers. I was Where like, was? I don't know. I, I don't, already knew she was. I don't like, remember finding a condom. It, it's there, pretty there, funny there when you find items. dad's nudie mags and then yeah, you, go, yeah. you go into uh, your little sister's room and you see <laughs> the nudie mag in there too you never saw that in the bottom of the, her little closet oh, yeah, with the lock on it yeah because you know she's her she's a girl yeah but then the girls. Big, big spoiler she had a girlfriend oh god so i didn't uh, finish it <laughs> <laughs> You can go finish ahead. it. It's like an hour. I know. You can get it done it, so it fast. So how about that weird exactly. uh, friendship with Ranger Rick the no mom had? That's, that, that's what I wanted to explore more because there was some, there was like this Ranger Rick guy that kept, like he came into town and then the mom was well, like Well, do a, you remember Ranger Rick? She's probably from Rick Dees? No. Wait, you never listened to Kiss FM in the morning? Was it the same 90s? Ranger Rick? I'm assuming it was. I think, no. it, I think it was kind of a, a throwback to, oh, okay. to Rick Dees because Rick Dees was uh, nationally syndicated. I did like all the throwbacks. Other yeah, X-Files, and I think like that Super was Ranger Rick games. was one of them. But yeah, I wanted to see more of that unfold rather than this girl, all this build up, and then there's like all this like like uh, pentagram that was drawn, yeah, and then the just, seance, and the, it came out the just to be fall. the girl was too. I was I was kind of hoping to to that you get Sloan in this game for he that did, pentagram and the Ouija I, board. He, he was sitting right next to me when I opened <laughs> the case and I saw the Ouija board, and I immediately turned the camera and like Sloan. Now, just so you know, like, I already saw it. I don't even care. It's just a video game. It's not real. I don't care. <laughs> I said, "All right, I just want to make sure you're not going to sneak around and throw my PlayStation away or something." Just oh my god! What'd you guys think of all the '90s references? The Super Nintendo, the Street cool. Fighter. 
Oh yeah, it had Super Street Fighter in it. I like the cool. music too. Like the little there was a X note files that, and mixtapes. Yeah. There was a note that had a bunch of like, uh, like one of them was a drawing where she did. Oh yeah, like she was down like a duping, left, a duping somebody, in yeah. the, and then like the head, and then another note had like the down right left. Yeah, some was. Code. There's an X Files reference in there. Yeah, did you guys see it? Yeah, the UFO. Was good. Was there was also like a, a VHS tape that was like a recording of specific episodes. There were like three episodes on one blank VHS tape. I did like the music, the music that the that the band was in. Yeah, that was I good. Did like the when music. you pop the cassette tape in, it just it was cool. so fucking loud. Yeah, it was. But I, I guess it kind of had to be because the whole game was really quiet. It was like really, really loud. Yeah. Did anybody think this is really weird that you're probing and prodding through your parents' place? No. Okay. Would you? Would you? Would you? Well, because that she way. has no idea where. Yeah, where nobody's I there. I know. Yeah. I know. Like, nobody's there. there. And there's, you, there's did stuff, they die? Like, wait, would you go into your parents' place and dig through their closets? That's one thing that I didn't understand. Is you don't she, have to. She was gone for a year. It's a question. But she, I don't she, have she to was gone for. Attack. She was gone for a year, and she never had any contact with her parents. And then she said, "Oh, don't pick me up from the airport." Like, what kind of fucking parents don't say, "Hey, we haven't seen you in a year, so you know yeah, we're on vacation." Well, I, I mean, I guess you could take it where they didn't know that she was coming back yeah. on a particular date. And back then, you didn't have the internet. You only had well, a phone, we, like like pay phones. Like, you didn't have it's cell true. phones or anything. There's email. That, and we already know yeah, the, the little then, sister's left at the house alone. Email. It's just a little sister at the house, and she's gone. Well, the little sister leaving is understandable because she went to go chase her girlfriend. But the parents, uh, the distance makes no sense to me. No, I just think it's really weird that, like, if you think about it in the contents of you coming home to your parents' place. Because I don't think... I think like I don't live with my parents, but I would never go to my parents' place after like six months of not and just be like, yeah, I'm gonna go check out what's in my mom. But you don't yeah. have to go check out. Yeah, your you mom's don't have room. to. But the thing you is, don't have to. When, when you show you up to the house, to your parents there's stuff to that's the like door. like well, certain drawers are open and things are missing. It's kind of like so. Hill, what if you went home? No, no, I'm not making nobody a correlation. was there. I'm just saying nobody was there. No, so no, no, I don't think it's the middle of a storm. All you could do is be inside this house. You didn't have a cell phone or anything. Yeah, and the TV and the TVs were left on. It was. I know, it's weird. So he'll, just, he'll probably go. It's weird. Parts. It's weird. I know. So but it's my, the biggest snoop out of everybody. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> That's the most biggest lie I've ever heard. I would. I personally would never run through my parents' stuff. Yeah, I'm just like, I'd if you, would you go into your parents' room and then look at their stuff, or no, look at their bed not. sheets, and the things weird. like that? I think it's weird. I just think that it's really it's strange. Interesting that they did that in the game. I didn't even do it as a kid. It's weird. I did it. You stay in your room. I'm in listen, my room. Listen, my parents' room when I was a kid was like totally off limits. Regardless if you weren't allowed to go inside there, Doesn't that's, where, that's where the sex toys were. It wasn't off limits no, no. to me. It was just like, why would you? There's no, nothing to just, do in there. There's nothing. Yeah, there's nothing to do in there. My parents always that's say, don't mess up. Hidden. Don't mess the bed up. Yeah, that's true. Don't do this in the bed. Don't jump. Go in the bathroom. Mess up the toilet. I went in my parents' room all the time. I went in my parents' room like around Christmas time. So every time, this fucking look for Christmas gifts. Yeah, I go with my parents room all the time. To do what? To do uh, what? There Just was, to jump was, around. He probably, in, he probably went in his parents' room to try in his mom's underwear and had, shit like that. They had, <laughs> porn was in there. High heels. they had a cool TV in there. They had a nice bathtub. Lots of cool stuff in there. Yeah, I used to go into my parents' in the bathroom bedroom to watch TV. Hell? See, my, my parents didn't have a TV in their room. Oh, okay. Mine yeah. didn't either. My par- all my parents had in their room was a bed, a nice bathtub, and a Two sinks. Well, that was it. Different strokes for different folks. Yeah, my, my parents only had cable in the living room and their bedroom, so my bedroom didn't have cable, so I'd go in their bedroom and watch TV. And then yeah. this this whole thing well, was surrounded sense. around this yeah. house that had this you know disturbed past to it, and then it like barely mentions anything. Yeah, it's to it. make it like spooky atmosphere. Yeah, at first. All, like the first all, areas you go, you see that. Yeah, you see that it's just, history. It, God, it was just such a letdown that like really that I played this game for a fucking hour just so this chick could go off with a girlfriend. I, so, I think they built God. it up fantastically because you see their yeah. relationship build up, and then they eventually. Just like to have those feelings, and they you see it just build, build, so, and then it climaxes. So it didn't appeal to you. <laughs> so, so if you remember, I think it was a beautiful story. When we talked about this last episode, it was David Jaffe's me. Game of the Year when it first David came Jaffe. out. David, David, Jaffe. David, Jaffe. David, Jaffe. David Jaffe. Jaffe. And if you want to know why that is, it's because he really wants to achieve storytelling through just gameplay, no cutscenes or anything. And this game achieves that, and he thought it achieved it really well so that's why he, it was, he was fun. it was I a really, fun game i, I just, really do story think it was, was good storytelling yeah i thought it was really good storytelling that's why i loved it so much i think it's also important if you want telling too because you don't get stories like this in games yeah if you just want to sit down and, ha- and not even think and have the story happen in front of you yeah that's fine if you want to play the game and experience the story as I, if you would experience it in real life this is a perfect game i thought for sure they were gonna kill it like do like a like a uh, a romeo and juliet thing and just kill each other 
like Jeez. some type of like dual suicide. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like when you go into the attic, I thought I was gonna find her body upstairs. Yeah. I did not. <laughs> do kind of allude because to it he, he had well, like they, all they the red used, lights and, and then the pentagram. Kind of, yeah. He's got the face down portrait, yeah. and then you got the candles everywhere. On first glance, you would think so because the lights are red and it's kind of spooky up there. But then when you get up there, it's just like a photo development room. Yeah, so it was cute. It was a cute story. I'm not saying it was bad. It just was like, yeah. So it's what cute. would you what would you guys rate the uh, the game out of ten? Uh, Jeff, let's go with you first. I give it seven. Ooh, okay, Ryan, nine point five. Wow. wow, holy crap, that's high. All right, soil. <laughs> yeah, I want to go with nine because it was a really good game oh. for the storytelling environment. It's really good. Will, I agree with Ryan, nine point five. Ooh, yeah, wow. I, I take it's off high. like point five for. Not not having quite as many features as it could with exploring, like not having VHS. Those no shoes. I mean, imagine minus five. A lot of us paid for. It. I paid for it on PC, so all of you got to play it for a. I paid for free. it on PC yeah. too. Yeah. So that's a completely different value. Proposition. How much you pay for it? I think I paid ten. I got on Steam on sale. I think probably yeah. same price. Tyler, what about you? Uh, I'd give it an eight. Okay. Mm-hmm. Encore. So I didn't finish it. You didn't finish it. Get out of here. It didn't. Uh, no, <laughs> I'll, I'll give it a five. Oh, <laughs> <damn>. <laughs> what, what were you just, saying about just, it just before like, the podcast started? Just like how Ryan talks about, like, oh, I'm not going to go three, four, five hours in episodes into a show to That's like, like it. He's talking like this, six hours. Yeah. You skipped out in hold 30 up, minutes. Hold up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the yeah, there's no zombies in this. Fuck this game. <laughs> the game didn't grab me in the beginning. And That's valid. Like it. That's a That's valid it. opinion. You gave it an hour. How long did you give it? He's like, in the first 10 minutes. seconds. I don't like it. Only I knew. I found that secret little door. I can already tell she was gay. And I was like, okay. <laughs> cool. As soon as you get into a room, you can tell she's gay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the, only thing I, I, the only thing I that gave me a little knockoff is that I thought it was going to be a horror game. And then I freaked out. I was like, oh, my God. I'm going to freak out in this game. Watch. I'm going to freak out. <laughs> the music was then so I good. got in and I was like, yeah, oh, it's not a horror game. That's the only thing that like. Oh, yeah, every right. time I would turn around, I would think, oh, fuck, what's going to be there? Uh, Except for when you pick up that cross. Don't you remember? Yeah, that, that was the, that was the scariest part. Look, of the game. Because yeah. the it's Cruise because it's, it reminded me a lot of um, Slenderman. When you like go to Slenderman, oh. and you pick up a note and then you oh, like yeah. turn it, and then all of a sudden you you think the lights would flicker, and you're like, oh shit, I'm gonna turn around. And there's gonna be a Slenderman around it, and nothing. Yeah, that, that's what's so good though. Is that the lights flickering is not scripted at all. Yeah. But remember when you were like a teenager or a young kid, and you explore the house on your own, and like. At nighttime, my it'd house be creepy. terrifying. My or house. get up to go to the bathroom. Sometimes it was dark and it just felt kind of creepy. Yeah, they my, just captured run. that mood perfectly. My house, yeah, they did. But my house wasn't that big. Or but the corner I'm of saying, your eye, you see that thing run across the door oh, real quick. Fuck that! Are you hear like a noise? You ever seen that? The oh, shadow man, no, oh, shadow yeah. people. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't oh, see yeah. that. <laughs> who, who has never seen that? Show of hands. In your peripheral it. vision, something yeah. moving. I don't see shadow. We've all seen it. I don't see shadow people. You've seen something move out of your periphery. Words and shit in your parents' bedroom. See, honest, honestly, when I was when I was a kid, if there was ever like low, like really dark, and I'm walking around the house, I always thought my dad was gonna wake up and he would be pissed. Because <laughs> <laughs> like, I was to stay in bed the whole time. No, can't get up, can't get up. No, when my dad would wake up in the middle of the night, he would be so angry that he would be awake at like you know two o'clock in the morning. Imagine you running around the house or doing something in the middle of the night. I'm talking about pissed. running around the house or go to the bathroom, bathroom, bathroom. bathroom. going to get some water. I never, I never got up to get water. I don't think I've ever done that. You've never gotten up in the middle of the night to get a drink of water. No, no you know really. what? You know what's really creepy is bathroom, when you though. have siblings that sleepwalk. My sister like, did. Her my, whole my, like holy shit! My little sister, like Does I would, she? the house yeah. would be dark, and I, I go to get some water. All of a sudden, her ass is standing at the doorway, yep. just staring. I'm like, what the fuck, dude? That shit is scary as hell because there's something there, and I don't know why that moment she decided, eh, I'm gonna just get up and go for a walk. That shit's scary, but other guys, than that... Did you guys ever do the thing when, like... I would do it when when I was really little. I would throw up in the middle of the night, and then I would just go... <laughs> and then I would, I would just go... Well, because you, you're sick, so no, you I get never, up in the middle... Okay. Oh, and so then you, you were sick? sick. You were I mean, sick. Now you're anyway, sick. Let me finish. So I would, like, throw or something would happen. So I would go into my parents' bedroom, and I would just stand there next to them and just look oh, at yeah. them until they woke up. Weirdo. Dude, Nick and Kaylee do it to me. It's fun. I, I can't, when I have kids, I can't imagine how freaked out I Dude, I'd be so scared if you did that. Yeah, uh, my, my sister my would do it, too. It wasn't just me. My sister would do it, too. So she would just stare and hope they would wake up. Yeah, but our parents would always wake up. Like, oh, wow. within, like, five minutes. One you of them you can feel them. You yeah. feel them there. That, that was scared of shit really? out of me. I don't, yeah. I don't really remember do it, but yeah, one I swear, time. I swear. I'm, so you, you feel like eyes are on you. Yes, I will be sleeping. It's usually after Renee leaves for work. I think it's because since she makes a little bit of noise, the kids wake up, kind of. But Kaylee especially. She'll come into my room, 
and I'll be sleeping and I can I swear to God, dude, I feel her staring at me. <laughs> and I wake up and she's just like Cereal. looking at me. Go, Kaylee, what are you doing? She's like, Daddy? <laughs> <laughs> and so I, I just kinda laugh, but that like that it's moment so that I wake up is just my heart like instantly starts racing and I just I get so frightened. What I don't remember it, but one time I woke up when I was little and went to my parents' room, peed on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> and then went back to bed. <laughs> so here's a, here's a weird story. <laughs> what? <laughs> that's not that's not entirely weird because Nick they apparently Nick has done it too before. Okay. <laughs> So here's a here's a weird story. So Shaheen, you, my youngest brother, you take a shit in the pants. No, 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 no. <laughs> he slept. He slept. Walked into my dad into my parents' place in the parents' bedroom, and he hopped on top of my father. <laughs> And then started to punch him. <laughs> and my my dad my dad woke up didn't because my dad he's so small at the time I think it was like four or five I would have killed him. And then my dad woke up and he's like, "What is happening?" <laughs> and he, he he picked him up and he kept swinging. He's like, "You are not my dad." And he swung oh, and swung shit. That's, and swung. That's weird. What? Like that. That's really and, weird. And my and then my mom woke up and was like, "Shaheen, Shaheen, wake up, Shaheen." Don't wake speak up. of that. And then, and then, no, no, You're he not said, supposed to know that. He said, Shine, wake up, Shine, wake up. And Shine's eyes are closed. And my dad was like, What am I supposed to do? So my dad just like said, Okay, just hold him against the wall. <laughs> and then he kept swinging. And then he woke up. And just he's like, hold him there and just pin him. He was him only like, like four or five at the time. That's crazy. Oh, I'm going to smack me. Like, wake the fuck oh, up. Snapped his oh, neck. hey. I don't Dude, think weird you would snap at night, man. That's really weird. I what? think Ryan can attest to some of this stuff, but ever since I had mono, I've had like ooh, I like these stories. I sometimes have Fever weird dreams. I sometimes have weird dreams where I think they're so so real, and I wake up. One in particular was when I had mono. Is that lucid dreaming? I don't know what it is. I mean, I've never had that. Was that called lucid dream? Where you know you're in a dream. Yeah, yeah, yeah I've never yeah, had that's before. the best. I've had I love those. lucid dreams. But anyway, okay. when I when I first got mono, the worst one I ever had was I thought there was an owl in my room, like a full grown owl. And that's I not swear a good to God, sign. to this day. I thought that thing was real. And I got out of bed, like slowly, like crept out of bed, walked over to very slowly and took my blanket and covered it real quick. Did you check for like a letter for Hogwarts or anything? And then I turned on my light <laughs> and there was nothing there. But I like, still to this day, like the, the day before the earthquake, the other day, I leapt out of bed and I was like, Renee, get up, get up, get up. And then she pops up. She's like, what? I'm like, there's an earthquake. And then at that moment, as soon as I said that, I was like, oh shit, I'm fucking retarded. Yeah. And, I, and I realized that nothing was going on at all. But then the next day we had an earthquake. Oh, okay. wow, that's I was weird. texting you. Yeah. That was, you, I was so like, there who, was an earthquake which one a while you guys ago. felt that earthquake? Because I didn't. I, I did. I, I was awake. It. I felt it. I was awake in bed. I was, playing video I was the 4 o'clock in the morning? I, no, I was it was sleep. like 1 one, one, 20, 1 one thirty. Yeah. I was playing Witcher. Tyler and I were sexting each other. We were. <laughs> a lot I, of weird I, stuff I yelled at our house. Town. I yelled at the ceiling to get off. Right? You guys would have felt it. You and Tyler would have felt it because it was closer to your Belinda than it was Anaheim. But. But Jeff felt it too. Yeah, that's weird. Oh, good story too about the earthquake. As Sloan was playing uh, Destiny at the time. <laughs> oh God! And so after the earthquake happened, I went downstairs. Like Sloan, did you feel that? He said, "Yeah." I'm like, "You don't care?" He's like, "I don't give a fuck about that. It has to be bigger to get me out of this thing." <laughs> 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 cared not at all. It was a five point oh, right? That yeah, but bad. it was down in like Borrego Springs, which uh, is outside of San Diego. It's probably like a two point somewhere over here. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't that big. Uh, I, I felt it pretty intensely down south. because you're next to the fault. Yeah, you're yeah clo- that, you're that shit. I thought someone was jumping on the roof. And I started yelling, "Get the fuck off the roof!" And then I realized, Wait, how does that feel like someone I don't, jumping on the roof? I really don't know. <laughs> oh, because in my neighborhood, there's always some kind of construction going on, so there's always like banging. So I, so I immediately assumed someone was on the roof. I was asleep. So I just started yelling, and I was like, wait, why am I shaking? And then I started going to the debate of, do I want to leave the house, or should I just wing it as a fuck it? I'm just going to stay here until the cl- house collapses. I always leave the house. We can move on, because this shit, I don't like this stuff. You don't like earthquakes? It's no, scary. I don't like this talk. I don't getting, like this talking conversation, scared? because yes, I will get scared. Ooh. I promise you, tomorrow really? morning, I will hey, put in the group chat. Before. Like, oh, shit. Hey, wait, <laughs> wait, wait, Jeff, wait, wait, before quick. we move, before no, we move I on. I want to go first. Okay, damn. When you lived at our house, <laughs> did any weird shit happen at our house? Because a lot of weird shit happens at our house. Yeah, I've I've exper- I've only I've lived there for less than a year, and I've... I will say that the condo that we lived at before, I, I didn't really feel it because I really... I'm really, I, I want to like Mulder. I, I want to believe in this stuff. Like, I really do. I really, really do. Don't watch San Andreas. I'm getting worried for Jeff's well being. He's getting really scared right now. But, <laughs> but in the old house, in, in that house, I always felt like, like even though I was home the alone. The one I live in now? Yeah. Because I was home a lot during the day because everybody worked during the day and I was, you know, I always worked nights. But during the day, I swear, dude, like, sometimes I'd feel like there was somebody there. But, it, but there was nobody there. Yeah. And there, so I would do like, because I have a gun. And so I swear, dude, when nobody was home, I would make my rounds in the entire house. 
and I would clear everybody's room and I would lock the front door and I would go to the glass. I would go in the backyard, <laughs> lock everything and go back to my room and wait till somebody got home. I wow. do that. I still do that. Sometimes I go home and I'm like, I feel I, like I someone's in the right fucking now. house. Yeah, in, in my room, goosebumps. A lot of times, I remember one time. Don't like it. Alicia was sleeping over, and she turns on the fan because she has tinnitus, so she needs a buffer noise. And one time, she w- was like woke up in the middle of the night because she felt like something went between her and the fan. Fuck. So man. she woke me up, and like there's nothing there. And like a week later, I was laying in bed, and I was watching TV, but I wasn't asleep. And then my whole head felt like it was surrounded like a bass noise. It's like, and it just got louder and louder and louder, and it just stopped. And I told Alicia about it, and she's like, that's what it was that one time when someone went in front of my fan. Fuck like, oh, that. fuck. Oh, man. <laughs> Throw that fan away. I, uh, Step one. I, well, oh, I'm sorry. that is intense. So <laughs> go ahead, Tyler. I just want to well, say. The, probably two months after I moved in, um, I was home alone, and uh, I was in the living room, and then all of a sudden, something fell in the shower. Like the the shampoo bottle or something. I would have left. Oh, I don't want to get some meat. I'm done. <laughs> Did I tell you like two weeks ago when I I, I didn't even wake up yet uh-huh. and it was at like five fifty in the morning and I woke up to like a big crash uh-huh. and I thought it was like my cell phone fell off. Oh the yeah, bed. I know you told me. Yeah, yeah. And my cell phone was just sitting there and I was like, I got ready for work and then I found like off my bookshelf my Elder Scrolls Collector's Edition book just fell off the bookshelf. Yeah. For no reason at all. Like no, nothing touched the bookshelf. There was no earthquake just fell and it was on there pretty solid i sometimes hear things falling downstairs in my house and when i check it out nothing has moved so i'm like what the fuck what was that noise in uh, stairs th- are the worst one- <laughs> after like two minutes i'm like all right nah, forget it let's one- move on something in where i live now that really freaks me out is second floor whatever, I'd be, I'd be, <laughs> no, uh, what you're saying is true I'm going to go with it. I'd be scared if I was in your house. The house, I'm all by myself, and I'll be sitting there in the day, and I hear somebody walking on the second floor. Didn't your brother say that too? Yeah, because my brother... Suha said that? Yeah, Suha said that when I was... I told him, dude, if you're sitting in the living room in the morning, and if you sit there, you'll hear someone going, like, walking. And he said, I don't think that's true. And then he went and sat there, and he heard... He heard people walk... He heard... And he still stayed in your house? No, he left. He fucking left. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> he, 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 he called me. He's like, dude, I just left your house. I don't know what the fuck's going on. I just locked everything up. And, like, <laughs> and I told him, God. I was like, dude. And then you hear it, you hear it walking. And then Allie, like, t- whenever I, we were talking, and I was like, Allie, do you hear that too? She's like, it's just the house settling. You know, the sun gets on it. She knows something. I'm like, dude, that's not what I think it well, is. Well, it's the it's the wood like expanding and the heat and all that's that. That's what stuff. she says, but I mean when what it is. When you're sitting there and you hear like a thumping. You know how much noise my house makes? It's like it's shit's my alive. My house doesn't make that much of moon noise. My, my house makes a lot of noise. And I've researched it and it's like, yeah, it's just fucking the weather patterns changing. Can I can I tell one heat. story? Yeah. Yeah. Before, yeah. before we move on. No. It has to do with a two story condo. I lived in uh, lived in many places and one of the condos we lived in the stairwell was kind of open, so if you sat on our couch in the living room, we had a mirror in the hallway, like oh, halfway up the mirrors stairwell. Out of the house, this mirrors are the worst. Coast of so, Mexico? No, no, no. This is Fairmont Hill, and uh, so the mirror you can see like probably like two feet of the the upstairs hallway because the upstairs hallway was kind of open into the stairwell. Oh God! And so if you were sitting on the couch, you can uh, you kind of like not even out of the corner of your eye. If you kind of look at looked at it, sometimes you could see like something walk across the hallway upstairs when nobody was home i saw it my dad saw it my mom saw it my sister saw it my friend chris saw it and then my friend sean saw it and we had all this is all at separate times and none of us had like talked about it before and then one time it scared my friend chris so bad he took off like he he was waiting for me because i went outside to go do something and he was waiting for me and he just went home you should have put a camera and see if, if it would catch see, like, see this is things? like 2000 no you're knocking on doors um, that, that, yeah that's a path and once and you go down that, there's that, no turning that back. same house that same house <laughs> gonna be damn sure on what you want. Shit. I'm, fucking, I'm just telling you right now like the things that i you know things i hear in the house or i see uh, well, what I have see, you seen so whenever the window the door and the front door has a screen on it and when you're walk, looking at it from a side view, it looks like somebody's walking back and forth. I always go out there. I have a little pellet gun. I'll take it with me. <laughs> and I take it with me because I don't know what the fuck's going on. Who's so I get scared. I, get, I Dude, do get scared. Like you're becoming guns. so you paranoid. So Hill. That's all I have. What? <laughs> it's my only defense. I said you're becoming so paranoid. I mean, you, the situations come, of you Come to my house. At, I'll lock I, you in. I, I know. I'm just and saying, you'll hear it. The situations of you living inside that house... I mean, I would just 
myself too i would be looking for things to say oh well, this is scary this is happening right now no but it, i would i i i want to figure the, it the out the situation you're in right now you would want to explain anything weird or any weird sound with that well well there's the noise the noise ali said has been forever but anyway the air i'm not used to living in the area i'm living in now where i used to live in your belinda is really quiet you guys we li- you guys live in a quiet yeah. area whenever you come to anaheim or just Buena Park area. It's not quiet. People oh, walk up and down the street. I used all to live time. right down the street from here, and it yeah, was and it's not quiet. Shots, all kinds of shit. And then whenever I'm whenever I'm thinking that, it's like I do that because somebody walked in my backyard, but nobody was there. But it, it freaks me out, and that's it. By a dog. By a dog. But dogs are tuned. Okay, three nights ago, I want to say this last one. Oh, three nights one. ago. <laughs> all right. Jeff's getting I, scared, at, so he'll at four o'clock in the like morning. At four o'clock in the morning, I wake up to a dog barking. It's our neighbor's dog. It's barking, and all of a sudden, nowhere you hear something like, <laughs> and then you hear the oh, dog. Yes. You start hear the dog white like whine. Mm-hmm. I don't know, like, <laughs> dude, you need a gun, man. <laughs> and then after the <laughs> dog, can't whines, shoot a ghost, listen, bro. After the dog whines, Al even heard this: a sound of like a very, very high pitched, like a jackal laugh mm-hmm. went off. And I think it was this coyote, but it scared yeah. the fuck out of me at four <laughs> o'clock in the morning. <laughs> so a coyote killed a dog in your no, neighborhood. No, <laughs> we don't know if it killed anything. We just heard it bite. It, we heard something get hurt. The dog got hurt because I know when a dog gets hurt, it sounds like, uh, yeah, it's like, like that. A yelp. Yeah. And then I, that was a sound I heard. Then I heard, <laughs> and then it was, like, <laughs> <laughs> and Allie woke up. She's like, well, "Who the fuck's laughing in the backyard?" I looked back there, and there was nobody back there. I could see in their backyard. The you craziest thing be. I heard in my backyard was at like three in the morning. All I heard was, "You're a horrible father, and you're an <laughs> asshole," and all this rage. I was like, "What the fuck? It's three in the morning." And it's just time to go, and the guy's just like slumped. He's like, I'm sorry, sorry, I suck at life. And the lady's just going off on him, and she slams the door and goes inside and just sits, stands out there. I was like, wow, that sucks. That's All awkward. Right. <laughs> I was like, it's weird. And it's loud as shit, too. I want to scare Jeff. Tyler Sohill done. Well, that, you know, oh, don't tell your story. Okay. So, tell the story. So, it was when I lived in Irvine two years ago. I never told Tammy or our other roommates until we moved out because it would freak him out too much. But there was one couple months before we moved out, and I was. It was probably like two in the morning and I was still awake and I was about to fall asleep and I had my back my back towards the rest of the room so I was facing the wall and in my right ear somebody something or somebody whispered, Excuse me. Oh. And then I turned around real quick and nothing was there. The and, ghost and, the dog, and the dog and the and, and, and our dog <laughs> our dog was sleeping on the bed, didn't he didn't move nothing. That's freaking. Yeah, I just it scared Jeff just shit swallowed. This, that, this guy's well, and, pass and out. What's weird, what's weird too is like years before that, I had been sleeping. It was when I lived in Anaheim at my mom's house, and the kind of the same thing happened. I was about to fall asleep, and I heard sniffing in my ear, in my ear, like a dog or a cat was sniffing. But it was before I got my cat, so I had no animal. And yeah, it was. Fucking I don't weird. want to say. On, so early t- Tammy onset. thinks something is following me. Tyler's you haunted. don't. You, you don't want to say anything about like early onset schizophrenia. Well, that's probably what it is. Too. <laughs> No, I, um, the weirdest one that happened to me was in Hollywood Hills. I was staying at my friend Jason's no place. This. <laughs> this is my last one. My last one. I just want to scare Jeff. Oh, uh, I, have, I, have one more. I, I have more. I have more, but oh I, I, won't, I won't say anything. I'm not this, actually scared of any of these things. It's just I I think that something is going on. Kind of like in Fringe. I'm going I'm to interrupt you for a minute here. That's fine. But in Fringe, like, sometimes when you, I think that when you feel something, or kind of like similar to Deja Vu, like I believe that it's something in a different world or different universe or something is happening at the exact same time that you're doing that same thing and somehow the two worlds are merging into one and that's why you feel connected to something else. Yeah. That's what I think. Yeah. Go ahead, it's very so, spiritual. So the, I was sleeping at my friend's place. I think I was like fifth grade, fifth grade, I want to say, in Hollywood Hills. Uh, we were just chilling and usually he had a bunk bed. So it was two, two beds on top of each other next to a window. He lived on the second floor, and his parents lived on the second floor, and the set, bottom floor was his grandma. And they had a sloped backyard, pretty sloped, crazy backyard, pretty huge. And I look out there with him, and I was like, dude, do you see that guy walking through the backyard? He said, yeah, what the hell is that? It's like a dark figure. Two seconds later, gone. Fuck. Mm. And all of a sudden, he said, I don't know what it is. He called, we called. His parents said, well, there is no way that anyone could have got over there. There's no way. It's fenced off. No way. Okay, well... In the transition, I want to say, Gone Home, a really fun experience that brings forth all these uh, feelings. Right. And uh, I'm going to give it a name now. It's part of storytelling. 
eight and a half because of this conversation. It promoted Ooh. that song. <laughs> Jeff now understands. I'm assuming Encore is still, a, <laughs> I still Encore like still a five right there. Yeah. Encore is another He's three. Miserable. Well, Encore hasn't had one story. <laughs> I, I, I don't believe in fuck. I, think <laughs> I don't. I don't believe in fear. I think that it, it had a great storyline to this, and I thought that voice acting was terrific. Um, I just think that this was a good game for free. I think it's perfect. It was a great game. I just wish it was longer. That's why I gave it an eight. When yeah. it first came out, a lot of people were like, well, "I paid twenty dollars for this." I'd be a little upset. Yeah, yeah. twenty dollars. No reaper. I think twenty bucks is steep. Ten dollars. I, I was content, yeah. and it's a game I want to share. Like I want my girlfriend to play it sometime too. Yeah, free games. As a free game, no complaints. Yeah. All right. All right. Moving on. So moving on to topic two of the week, Warcraft. So, what did you guys think? For who people who saw it? I think it was very poorly received by critics. Critics, but it crickets, crickets our arch nemesis. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but it actually is a lot better than people are giving it credit for. So, what about you? Me? Uh, I want to say that the movie, for what it was, for a movie about a video game, uh, I, I think it was really good. I thought it was one of the better video game movies I've seen. Uh, I just think that the American audience won't follow this movie as well as people think. Uh, I just think it's because it's CGI mainly and there's like, you know, fantasy characters and fantasy characters people don't understand too well like orcs and Mm -hmm. elves and dwarves and this and that without any backstory so um i just that's what i think but i think it's gonna i think it's gonna be do okay i I I agree going into it i mean i don't remember the story for warcraft one at all i just remember it was orcs versus humans yeah. And supposedly a lot of the stories from that. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, I from remember the original it, lore. I remember and, the game before Warcraft 1 and that's where most of the In addition from. to that, I mean, they have all this other stuff from World of Warcraft and Well, that's way other. way later. It's I know, like, but like some of the mythology the, the applies main, to this too. The main plot comes from Warcraft 1, but for a game yeah, that comes plot, from and it, then I hear also goes partially in the Warcraft 2. Too, yeah. yeah. But that's like the rising tide and I was like with the pirates and this and that. But anyway, which was fun, by the way. The game, the game to movie change was was one of the better video game movies I've seen. Ryan, what did you think? I thought it's definitely getting. It's one of these movies again that the critics are like. It seemed like the bandwagon and just attack it and call it terrible. It's it's not terrible at all. I didn't really care about. I didn't want to see the movie at all. I just went because you all wanted to see it. I thought the trailers made it look terrible, so I went in with really low expectations. And I I really enjoyed myself a lot. I thought it had a pretty more original story than I definitely expected and it was a lot of people are complaining that it's too serious I think it was a good mixture of comedy and like a serious story to get you invested the CG was really good it was you didn't look at it thinking this looks really fake it all seemed believable yeah so I thought it was like a fun fantasy adventure and I thought they really set up the universe well for people who don't follow it yeah Yeah. Uncle what do you think Uh, I really liked it. Uh, I don't know anything about World of Warcraft. Uh, the closest thing I can think of is like my friend playing at his house and watching that South Park episode when they're all playing. War- <laughs> that was Warcraft. a good episode. <laughs> yeah. um, I, I we you know we all wanted you know we got we got it, we saw a screening so for free and I I really liked it like the like the first scene in the beginning it was I was a little worried I was like shit this looks pretty bad like it's just two ogres in a tent with baby it was a little weird. <laughs> yeah, it was a little uncomfortable. Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember it. she had like, the big belly, and we're all ew, so yeah. gross. That was in the that was in the trailer as well. Don't try to kill the movie with spoilers. It wasn't a trailer, yeah, but it, it was it was uh it was interesting. It was kind of like whoa. Yeah, no, but like that part, you know, I was like, oh, I don't know about this movie, but then it really it, it picks took, up. It picks up. It took me into the world, and uh, I really enjoyed it. Like now, I I want to see more. I'm not gonna go play World of Warcraft, but like I I really enjoyed it. You know, and you know. Uh, we we told uh, what's his name, Duncan Jones, the director. And we told him we liked it. Guy, he gave us a like on. Uh, he needs some Twitter. positivity. Yeah, um, it didn't do what is it? I think it made twenty four million this weekend, mm-hmm. and uh, over three hundred worldwide. So it's not gonna do well in domestic, but rotten yeah, tomato. I mean it's it's <coughs> one of those movies where it's I mean the the following of the game, you know of you know because most people know World of Warcraft than Warcraft itself, and. You know, people associated with that, but I mean, if you if you actually take the time to watch the movie, it's actually very well, well, really well made, 
you know, and they use really good graphics that could probably be on par with Avatar as far as the CGI goes because it's so realistic looking. I mean, I can just only imagine, you know, when they introduce, if they make more sequels, you know, some of the things they can introduce that are in the lore of Warcraft, how awesome it could look just based on this, you know, the CGI they use. I mean, yeah, it was expensive. The budget was high, but I mean, it was pretty good. I only have two main complaints about this movie. What's that? Uh, the first one is the ex- explanation of exactly what the Guardian is and all this other stuff that you're kind of jumping into. They could have done with more backstory, like maybe. Uh, well, apparently an intro there's into 40 it. minutes that they cut out because the studio is forced them to cut it's out. Because it's too long. Yeah, it's too long. So they apparently they might have actually explained it all, but it just got cut out. Okay, that and. I heard a lot of people are already comparing it to um, Lord of the Rings. Yeah, that's always been a factor. Yeah, but it's, well, it's fantasy. Well, just yeah. Lord of the Rings for me, they like the, the humans in that world. They were able to pull it off. They looked all grungy. It looked like it fit in place. And this one, they have a lot of them really clean haircuts and very clean faces. It well, you got to feel... remember, you know, it, that's how it is now. Because in the in the in the lore, you know, f- you know, you'll see like if, you know the orcs aren't you know there yet. They come in. For, for so me, there wasn't yeah. that much conflict. So you, there's no reason to be all like grudged up. For me though, it felt like the orcs were a part of. They had these random people Middle Earth that felt like they belonged there, like the guy with the long hair and the beard. Oh, the, is, he's a Viking, right? The, uh, guy, the, guy. the main yeah. character, Ragnar Lothbrok. The, the big, the one that, the one that's yeah, he's, he plays yeah. as the main character in Vikings. Yeah, Vikings. Yeah. His name's yeah, Ragnar Travis Lothbrok. Flamel. Okay, um, he felt like he fit in the place, but then the other major, the, other, the other the other major character with that has sorcery didn't feel like he felt fit Ben Foster hey anybody else think the king looked like Pal Gasol <laughs> a little bit <laughs> you know who king that was guys? right I don't know who it is that was uh, Tony Stark's dad oh um, I thought he looked familiar Iron. yeah Dominic, oh, the guy who was Dominic yeah. Cooper sorry I just want to say did he look like Pal Gasol to anybody because he looked like Pal Gasol so I didn't make that connection the king was very clean too <laughs> well, he's a king you know he's gotta yeah. be clean can't look like a but, but in the games you remember like all the big characters are always like super clean looking and, yeah like, cause they're really supposed to be really awesome important and big and, you know, so, oh, yeah, yeah. I, I thought it, I, I thought they looked like that on purpose to kind of match the style of the yeah. games from what I remembered that's honestly yeah. if that's they what they were going ma- for if they I mean they, they, did, they did pull off the armor like the armor was like oversized mm-hmm. and that looked really like the units that you play with in the game but mm, yeah you know, it looked good i mean for I what it was it looked, the biggest complaints that i've read on reviews from critics is you know they're they criticize the the you know the barrage of information you get in the first 20 minutes yeah but at the same token though i'm i've been watching game of thrones for six seasons i still don't know where the hell half the shit is and who is what there's so much going well, on games of thrones look like it pulls off that tone that they kind of missed for me as far as the humans too yeah, but that's a different. It's a different I know. Style. I know it's a different world, a different style. It just you, means you, you it would have been a little bit more pretty. convincing to me if they were able to pull it off. Like they I mean, if they made. I mean, it's just I, it's overwhelming because it's a different story. I mean, I'm, My, I'm pretty sure when Star Wars first, you know, began, a lot of people didn't know where everything was, and my suspension of belief would have been there a bit more. Well, there's magic and ogres and stuff, man. It's, and that's that's what makes it really important for you to have your suspension of belief. And then the other biggest complaint is the actual human actors. People thought that you know they're they're miscast or there wasn't as much passion, which is interesting considering they're they you know critics are saying that the CGI orcs did a better job acting than some of the humans, which I thought it was. I mean, some of some there's certain scenes that you could say, okay, yeah, I can see where they're coming from, but what bothered me the most was the fact that that's what they stuck with as this is the reason this movie fails it's like so if the if the cgi is amazing I, this movie still tanks because like two people might i didn't not, think like, the human acting so was well. was bad I, thought, I didn't think it was bad I thought either the orc acting was amazing though yeah the orc acting was amazing I think yeah. maybe they're, they're looking at this it. this is this good and why can't the humans be this good yeah that's know. probably it was just like standards it's unfair. Well, all that could be cut it was yeah. probably cut out or whatever right? like the, the what's the yeah, name? It that one guy's uh, son you know that I'm sure yeah, there's a the bunch sun, of scenes the with sun him. Doesn't have very much to do with yeah, so I'm sure. Yeah, it just, there's it there's cool a lot class. of scenes. I mean, because there's a lot of parts in the movie that you feel like it just literally feels like they just cut it, and then the next scene shows. I think yeah. you guys need to keep in mind though they usually cut content for a reason. Like I don't think yeah. it's, it's well, studio. it was already it's what a, a two hour movie, it's two a, hour fifteen minute. Yeah, so Ooh. I mean, 
If they imagine if they add another forty minutes, this is like you know we got Batman versus Superman now. Well, then that's probably when you can mm-hmm. explain your you know your whole world that they were trying to explain, and that's what people yeah, are complaining can't, about. But you can't you can't you can't go into that much depth though. It's too well, much. That's so, so much. Yeah, Lord, it's, it's so much. We talked about this sure. last time. Did the extra content for Lord of the Rings make that movie better? No, Tyler. Me, but I'm no. Talking about <laughs> but I mean, you gotta say this is twenty years worth of lore. Like it's a right, lot. But people of are shit complaining about no. But like here's the here's the thing. The 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 movie did really well in China. Right versus America, and the reason why is, is the people that liked it in China went to watch it. Well, Blizzard is Blizzard. huge in China. Yeah, yeah. 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 they have a huge. Blizzard theme park over there. That's non-sanctioned, oh, that's by crazy. the way. But it's non-sanctioned. Oh, that's true. Well, I hope they make another sequel. You know, I really liked it. I wish they. I hope they do. Too. I hope they make another sequel. Too. I hope they go about the whole. Now that Frozen now that the characters are established, I think the a sequel could do very well. I mean, like as far as the pacing, they yeah, got the movie is building up to a Warcraft style next story which i hope it does well i think i think a big factor is going to be i mean i mean in august they have the new world of warcraft patch coming out a new uh, expansion which is supposed to have updated graphics on a whole bunch of stuff and i'm i'm assuming if like a lot of people return to play the game because of this movie you know it could you know push them to want to make more just so that they make money on the movie because their budget was what 160 million they've already like doubled it so they've already made their money back and some plus if they get you know users back in the gaming world that's a double win right there well with the big overseas sales aren't aren't this is not really that important how well it does here if as long as it does yeah, well, as long as they make money they don't care how they get it pacific rim got its sequel based off overseas sales pacific, well, look at rim, a, pacific rim needs a sequel that movie that movie is really cool good. i love that movie i, know, I do not either. understand the american market and not liking that movie I, uh, it was okay. It's, it's, it it's exactly. freaking Rotten Tomatoes, guys. Amazing. People look at the stupid ratings and shit like that. And but uh, that's why you know they should do. They should look at how our do you ratings. Not like, how do you not like robots fighting giant monsters? How do you not like that? Okay. I th- I think that you know Japanese God. Japanese or just Asian culture in general is more open to you know the fantasy realm compared to American. No, I culture. just I think that the our generation really doesn't think for themselves when it comes to a lot of things, and they follow the Rotten leader like Yelp. Mm-hmm. And Ron Tomatoes. Ron Tomatoes. Ron Tomatoes. Yelp, when, Yelp Yelp tell, when Yelp tells him that something's or really IGN. good. Or IGN. IGN. Oh, IGN. David Jaffe. 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 So what does it have on Ron Tomatoes right now? 24%? Pacific Rim? No, uh, Warcraft. Uh, talking about Warcraft. It's something really low. I didn't even care to look but at it. But you can't just blame Rotten Tomatoes because the Transformers movies come out and get like that's 10%. Transformers, though. I, I remember so looking looking on Rotten Tomatoes, uh, though. You can't just say that's Transformers. That's, that's your explanation. I, I, Michael I use, Bay. It has a famous director. I use Flickster. People like Michael Bay. I use so. Flickster to look Michael at Rotten Tomatoes. Okay, and then that's what you want to 27% <laughs> Rotten Tomatoes, 83% Flickster. And I remember IMDb had like 8 point something. Yeah. That's true. So it seems like just Rotten Tomatoes is collecting a lot of negative reviews from where? I don't know. Yeah, like like people right. listen to it. It, it, so it just grabs thing, it from like the random areas. But anyway, so what, remember how we talked about how that one director for Ghostbusters said something like, like what is it, nerd culture or something? Is, angry nerd yeah, culture. Angry. angry nerd culture. Well, the director of this movie told haters to chill out. <laughs> because they're like all up in arms over something that it doesn't make sense. This is a movie that's not. Well, they never one of the biggest up. one of the biggest uh, complaints from gamers and the people who know the lore is it's actually a little different than what is written. So some people are like, oh, I didn't like the fact that this is you know different from the actual lore. But I get why they didn't do that because this story still makes sense. You know, if you know the whole story, you read all the books, you play all the games. And you watch the movie, it's it'll be kind of boring because you know exactly what's going to happen. But if you watch a little alteration of it, you're like, oh, wait, what? This is different. It keeps you engaged. The the director. People, can I read a really crap review here? Go for quick? it. So somebody from Rolling Stones wrote, if you oh, leave God. Warcraft with two words ringing in your ear, it will be game over. <laughs> what kind of wow. bullshit ass crap review is that it's still a part it's a really lame person trying to tie in that's a video game movie. yeah and i don't like rolling I'm gonna stones put a really, yeah, really good video game tagline here when it comes to reviews they publish things that are completely not even true and have to later redact it all yeah fuck the rolling i just stone. i just hate that these critics nowadays they, they cling to one or two things and then they make it like a really big deal and then it overshadows all the hard work that went into the movie I mean, that level of CGI, to do that, I mean, anyone who does any sort of animation will be able to tell you, that shit's hard, you know? And to just overshadow all that by saying, yeah, some of the characters, like, one, there was a, there was a complaint that the main character looked like he was going to cry in every scene. I'm like, dude, have you never seen emotion? Doesn't he look like the guy from uh, Sons of Anarchy? 
Yes, he does. He's he's got a very striking resemblance to to him. I talk. uh, I talk. I listen to the director's interview, Duncan Jones, and he's he's actually a fan of Warcraft. He's been playing it ever since the beginning. It's so, it's a really fun I mean, game if you really people, get into people, it. And then you said people that have played it, it's, 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 they change the lore. You gotta change it for cinematic purposes. Yeah, so people yeah. so he, always forget the word adaptation. Yes. So and so this guy loved the material, so he did what he can, so it would you know. And you know what? It worked. The this story actually worked very well. So I mean, if you haven't seen it, go check it out. We have our own review on this written on our website at nerdconfessions.net. Written by Tommy here. Written by myself. Yes. You guys gonna read it? What you guys think about that ogre chick, though? Is she like half human or what? We don't know what she's not half half human. We don't know what she is. They call her half breed. Oh, is she half breed? Yeah, yeah, but we don't know what the other other half half is. is. It doesn't say. I think no, they they highly they well well, suggest. Well, remember, she was originally from their world, uh, from the orcs world. Those those, and it doesn't show humans on their world. But they talk about they talk about taking people. Well, in the beginning, it showed all these um these people they had against the yeah, and they're blue yeah. And they look kind of similar to her, so maybe it was her and an orc. Maybe we don't know, we but don't you'll know. have to watch it and, and find out for yourself. Yeah, find what, out for yourself. What about that wizard yes. guy, though? Well, watch it. What do you mean? What about the wizard guy? What are you talking about? <laughs> you kind of is a good. Uh, yeah, I thought he was cool. He he's basically he looks like any of the cool wizards from. He looks like Merlin. Yeah, from any of the Warcraft games. Yeah, like a really decked out wizard, which yeah. is really cool. But anyway, check it out. Oh, check yeah, it out. I, I will give this movie a nine point five out of ten. Wow! Yeah, wow. He really, high. really loves that movie. Loving that I really did. lizard. So, Will, what do you do? What do you give? What, what I do? <laughs> what I do? <laughs> what I do? Will, what do you do? Seven point five. Ooh, seven point five. Okay, so Will? Uh, I want to say seven point five as well. I think I said that on the first night I watched it. Uh, Ryan, I give it a seven. Encore, I give it eight. Oh, the first time Encore's higher than the other guys. Oh, interesting. Uh-huh. It didn't even make that much money. It did. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> considering Jeff and Tyler haven't seen it, so we'll just skip them until they one day watch it. Uh, we're going to the topic of the the third topic of the week. Willie's secret. Willie, Willie, what you got? Williams. All, All right. William. So this, um, a lot of people might have strong feelings about this. The Nintendo NX productions supposedly delayed from June 2016 to early 2017, and more and more people are saying it's because they want to add VR support. Do it. Ugh. Do it. <laughs> what, what, what more do you have to say about that? What was that, Encore? Dude, enough oh, of this VR oh, stuff, oh, oh. man. Nintendo has also chosen Let's to cut down console. cut down production from 20 million, 20 million units to 10 million. So they're expecting it's not going to sell as well as they originally anticipated. What do you have to say about that as a stockholder? Oh, I'm scared. No, my stock's going to blow up. They're <laughs> okay. mobile. I see it. Probably I like that positivity. They're just just playing it, playing it safe. I think is what they're doing. Maybe. Yeah. I think uh, it's gonna be bad when they actually do pretty well, and then they're like, "Shit, we don't have enough product." No, that's what they, that's what there's a must. Look at the Wii did so big because like they sold all their initial, and they do it on purpose. They control the supply like that. This is true. Then you walk into the store, it's like I can't find it anywhere, and then everyone starts talking about it, gets on the news, and it spreads the, the word. The same thing with their amiibos, right? Their amiibos yeah. are always sold out. That's I think yeah. I think it's the same thing that PlayStation went after this this go around with this head this. Oh, speaking of PlayStation VR, has anyone noticed that it was all sold out everywhere? Yep. Yeah. Uh, nope, I, mean, I didn't go shopping. First, I mean, first, first we were talking about how it's oh, it's not sold out, not sold out. It's been sold out for a while. Yeah, yeah no, I think the yeah. Amazon one sold out the very first day. Yeah, well, yeah Amazon did, but everyone. I mean, Amazon Best Buy had it available for a long time. Best Buy had it for um, a long time, and a lot of people got it back in for a while. But now it's sold out everywhere and hasn't come back in. Yeah, I think that what PlayStation, I think what we the Nintendo people are trying to do is make create demand by supply limiting supply. Yeah, that's what they do. So they're gonna go and say, look. Kids, you want to get this NX? This NX is going to be awesome, but there's only 10 million of them. Good luck to your parents. And then your parents now have to, on, during Christmas time. Well, it kind of worked on me. Well, they're launching in March. They're not doing it. Uh, no, like I know, but I meant like during any kind of purchasing run, your parents are going to have a really hard time finding one or their parents. And they're going to say, well, where do I buy it? They're going to have resellers going crazy. It's going to be really popular. They're going to talk about it on the news. It's going to sell it again. I'm curious to know, have they said anything about it as far as like how it is? Is it like the nope. Wii? Or? They haven't said anything no about it. Anything. Man, if it's like the old Nintendos, oh crap, I'm buying one. Uh, all I can say is about this First VR thing is it makes sense to me. Um, they have this handheld, right? If they put enough techno- uh, enough uh, quality into the screen where it would look good in a headset, it would be like mobile VR. You can how expensive off. are they going to make it then? 
Well, if it's all it has to have is a cell phone quality screen. Yeah, on top of hardware to play games though. We don't, know, cost, we don't know. We don't know how that's going to work. Your phones cost like seven hundred dollars if you're not on contract. I don't. Yeah, I don't, I don't understand what VR we're going to do on Nintendo though. Are we going to be in the eyes of Super Mario? Well, are we gonna I, I played Lucky Zelda? Tales, and I can tell you there's a lot of potential for cartoony platformers, third-person platformers on VR, and they would be perfect for that with Mario. No, Nintendo is like the king of innovation. What if so a golden Nintendo eye gets in there? VR be cool. Golden Eye VR. But I'm not going to buy a second headset. I already got the Sony headset. I don't want anymore. I don't want headsets well, all that's around the thing. my house. If the, if, the, if the little handheld is is able to do it just by itself and have like at least a 60 hertz refresh rate, all you take is like a little cheap headset. Yeah. We, we hope we hope that's all it is. But I, w- I would love for them to try their hand at it, though. Let's I don't, I don't think they're going to put all... They already tried VR a long, long time ago. Well, yeah, I know, with the Virtual Boy. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was like way oh, before we ready. Virtual Boy was so <laughs> painful to play, though. So I got, awkward. I rented to use. that from the Blockbuster. I bought one with my dad. You bought one? Yeah. You got one? I have one at home. I, was so, I would have been so jealous of you back so, then. So, can you bring it next week? If I can find it in my go parents' find place. Go yeah. find it. Uh, it's in the garage somewhere. But I remember when I was playing it, it was so hard to play because you're sitting at a table and it's you put your face to it and everything's fucking red and your eyes start to hurt and you're playing tennis and it's an awkward way to hold the controller and you couldn't even play it laying down. It was terrible. It was, so, it was a bad system. Nintendo the world has changed. Nintendo has said that it's going to be a new way to play games. I don't think it's going to be VR. Yeah, they tried that with the freaking Wii U. Wii U didn't really do anything new, though. They, yeah, Wii U just had a second screen. They kind of marketed it, though. They marketed it terribly. No. So you don't, well, what, you don't think it's going to integrate VR at all? I don't think so. Please don't. Well, don't wasn't, didn't, it. wasn't, the, uh, wasn't the Wii like the, f- the first thing to bring... like? You know, using a controller that moves on the screen where you can move while your motions. No, they introduced the motions. They introduced Waggle, and then Microsoft and Sony took it further, where it actually tracks your hands and arms yeah. and things. And then Nintendo went back and added a, a better a, um, sensor, and then it kind of tracked it better. It still never equaled. You up. think we'll ha- well? You think one day it'll be, turn into something like you'll have like a pot in your room? But what I can say is, like the Assassin's Creed trailer. No, here? when Nintendo does innovate, but what they're also good is making something cheap and affordable. So yeah, I think mm, it, true. If they could pull off the VR, they'd be able to make it cheap and affordable. They need to do like a Nintendo sixty four GameCube kind of thing. Combine that. Enough of this innovation stuff. It's but a gimmick. You, it's you can just get the PlayStation Four yeah, if you just want to play the games. Because you can't so play you're just Mario, saying you can't you want... play Zelda. You can't play all. Yeah, those he's characters. talking about the like, like go back to. So like, he's just saying he wants six... an emulator. I don't think no, Nintendo the coming out and just making a. Console, if they're just going to make yeah, just a basic basic or yeah. powerful if, if, console, if, and that's it, you might as well have them just be software. If developer. Sega did it, you guys, we would all go out and buy a damn console. No, I wouldn't. You wouldn't. No, really, not for just software. I'm not gonna yeah, buy another. Nintendo Nin- only makes money off their property, their own software. Yeah, because except they, for Wii, I mean, you know, that was just you know. That's because that, yeah, but it's because Nintendo's always had a bad ability to port over games that were mature games. They never did it. Uh, if they third do party this, support, yeah, totally gone. Been, yeah. yeah, but if yeah. they do this innovation thing again, it's it's I'm it's I don't see it working. I'm just super. Just curious make a good console. Happens. If you make a good console, yeah. well, here's the thing, Encore. And part of why I think Wii U sold so poorly is it's a it's a family game console, and if you're going to play it with friends in front of a TV, you can do that at your friend's house. So only like one person of a group of friends has to buy it. And the Wii U is pretty much what you want. You can you have that virtual console with pretty much every Nintendo game you want. And I don't ever use the gamepad. I use the the Pro. It's just a standard controller. I never have to use the gamepad. That's what you want. You got it right there. Nobody bought it. Yeah. No, not really. Well, they like when they were marketing it. It was that damn controller. You can only buy one at a time, and only one can be used. There, it, that was a selling point. I bought it because of that stupid controller, which I hate. I don't like it. <laughs> it is a terrible controller. I, I like the controller, oh, I but I, I thought the touchscreen was going to be higher quality than was. Nah, and the screen really quality. Are things uncomfortable? It's ugly? It's huge? I don't like it. I, they, they need to learn from their mistakes from Wii U. Don't call it the Wii. Don't call anything like that. Make a good console. Keep it with, you know, I guess whatever these new micro, uh, two point, PS what? 4 2.0. 2.5 or whatever the hell it's called. Neo. PS4. K, whatever. PS Neo, it needs to be in par with that at least or even better. I still think we're just going to get a console that 
as a handheld. Is, I think it's just going to take the gamepad to a new level where it's going to you can take it wherever you want. I think um, maybe I think that's not going to happen on Corp. and partially it's because Nintendo was always conservative conservative for the time on their consoles. I mean, if you look at the SNES, it wasn't anywhere near the most powerful console. Yeah, but there was, if, it was it was a different culture back then. Nintendo, the name Nintendo, you know, people just bought it because of Nintendo, just like Atari. It was the same thing. Yeah, right now that's PlayStation. On, yeah, honestly, so they need to follow their. I agree with you. On it, it, it feels like it feels like you. you know Xbox and PlayStation are on their own level now, and Nintendo's just kind of like the yeah. little brother trying no, to keep exactly. up. I, I do, I do agree that Nintendo, if they want to get back in the game, but back has, then they had all the third parties support behind yeah, them. Now they yeah. that was them. Now, they, don't. now yeah. they went too weak. So what? I PlayStation think, overtook them. What I think they need to do is come out with a really strong system stronger than the point five updated yes. to PS4. or better they're not so they can though. gain back that third party support with a better it's console. not going to happen though yeah, i know but it. you you would want it say look you guys can develop we'll give you everything you need any development kits go crazy this is much they powerful. tried that with wii u and ubisoft yeah, but they were banking on lost it. money yeah but look they were banking on it with their you know but was character. wii u stronger than no, playstation wii u was 4 it was, it was stronger than xbox 360 and ps3 and they didn't but that care. was but that was their next gen after but, wii u. yeah so they announced the wii u and we already knew about playstation 4 and xbox one being way more powerful so nobody wants so to what i'm talking about is better than the k2k the ps4k by double if not double but i meant like a little better than that coming out you have to come out i'm saying strong. i'm saying given their history and that's japanese company know, and they know, don't like to change the tradition very much <laughs> and they're not gonna be releasing a more powerful console yeah. than playstation 4 or xbox one they're not putting out a powerhouse that's if they don't happen. it's it, this it, this is it i think if they don't do better it's nintendo's they dumb. have a lot of money they can afford to learn a loss they, they, they have a lot they already lost what are you talking about they can Wasn't afford like another one hundred million dollars they can afford another one they still have a ton of money they, i don't do you think they, they have enough to money afford a lo- another loss i promise you they i think i'm not saying they don't have money i'm saying do you think they want to afford another loss like that i though? think if they lose they're just going to go and make software and do so i just like it's going to be sega i basically. like the name that they can you know nintendo nx it sounds like a nice yeah. console it's name. not going to be happen yeah never know it's going to turn into something weird nintendo nintendo it's going to be something stupid i think i think sure. they'll call nintendo it nintendo Wura. maybe they'll call it nintendo square no i think they'll just call it the nintendo so are we hearing something about so. it at e3 or no they're not gonna no. say anything at E3. nothing well that wraps up this week's confessions we want to thank all of our listeners uh join us next week as we talk about the e3 revelations what went down at e3 this week finding dory and uh, Voltron, a Netflix original series. As a reminder, you can find previous episodes and bonus content on our website, nerdconfessions.net. You can also follow us on our many social media platforms to send us your confessions. See you later, everybody. David Jeffy, 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 David